Hello everybody, Flaming Shark back with another video today giving you guys another blind commentary, blind reaction. Today we're reacting to Stein's Gate, uh, episodes 7, 8, 9, and 10. So four episodes of the Stein's Gate in this video. Should be awesome. Last time we did Stein's Gate, I had an orgasm over everything really. Episode 6 had my favorite scene of the series so far, despite actually being probably one of the tamer episodes overall. The fucking scene, the dream sequence, or the vision sequence, or... Uh, I, I posted a comment a while later on my Steins Gate video. I started to remember something and thought about I was thinking more about it. I watched it again. I watched the episodes again. I was thinking about it. I was like, he did time travel. Somehow, some way. Okabe time traveled in episode one, and the fucking girl, um, oh my god, I forgot my notes, but Christina, um, fucking, um, Kurisu Mikase? Makase. Makase Kuroso. Uh, Makase, or Christina, was, like, really weird, and, like, seemed like, like, she was part of it or something, and then, uh, when, before she died, and then she died unexpectedly, which could have had to do with the time travel shenanigans, and then, um, she was, like, completely unknown, so in a, in a former world line, she knew all about this stuff, and then in this world line, she didn't, so I don't know what's going on with that, but that could have something to do with Okabe time traveling, and then as, you know, he went into this new world line and Potatoes, um, for whatever reason, Makase was talking to Okabe, and we were getting that whole sauce with, um, where Makase was talking, and then, you know, Okabe was like, so this is an event horizon, and Makase was talking all about time and space and how all this shit works, and, you know, as fucking, um, Okabe went through the black hole or whatever the fuck, uh, all the shit was going on, because event horizon, we're probably referring to a black hole, given, you know, event horizon, uh, but yeah, you know, all kinds of craziness was going on there, and I was thinking about it, and I was like, maybe that actually happened, like, during episode one, but we didn't see it. We just saw, like, boop, all of a sudden, boop, time travel, and, like, what the fuck? And there's the whole thing with the messages and the phone wave. I still don't understand how, like, this originally happened. I actually think that we're going to get answers to a lot of the stuff that happened in the first episode um, towards the end. I don't think we're going to get answers of that because I think what happened in the first episode might come around and actually even happen or whatever. I'm not sure. I don't think so because the way that the, the world lines work, that doesn't seem plausible, but I feel like we're going to get an explanation for the first episode by the end of the series, but maybe not. I'm not entirely sure, but that's something I've been thinking about in regards to Steins Gate. Besides that, I'm just really excited to get into more, and I don't think I have anything else to say. I just kind of wanted to discuss the episode 6 sequence that I love so much, that quote-unquote dream sequence, that as I think the more I think about it, the less I kind of think it's a dream sequence. But uh, yeah, now that I've actually gotten that out of the way, let us continue with episode 7 uh, of Steins Gate in 3, 2, 1, and play. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, no. Why did I do that? I just fucking dragged this over. Well, that's weird. I didn't even know I could fucking do that. Okay. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Oh, man. The amount of times. I did that. I do that so freaking often. I always, I always have the wrong freaking settings in regards to either dub or sub. I always have it. It's always dub when I'm doing a sub, or sub when I'm doing a dub, and then and then the, the subtitles, too, is always either off or on when they should be on or off or whatever. You know, I do that way too much. Ugh. Anyways, uh, three, two, one, and play. All right, here we go. Cursed be these hands. What granted you life? Now honor our sulfurous contract, written blood. Okay, what are you... Let the ebon flames burn black. Fulfill my wish, O oh beast! <laughs> Jesus! Uh, what? How am I gonna heat up my chicken tenders now? You can expect this level Ayuri, of disregard for your you things. You might want to run for things. it. Don't be a butt! Yeah. You should say that you're sorry and then Shining go finger, find this isn't life. not worth it. <laughs> Surely not in this economy. <laughs> wow. No photographs. I was very clear on that. A keepsake. Huh? Sure, why not? Finger? 
Check it, ladies. The upgrade is complete. Phone wave mark two versus Okay, so they're upgrading the, the phone world. wave. All right. Thanks to the heroic efforts of yours truly, we can now shuttle Gmail to any number we feel like. Excellent oh, awesome. Work. Okay, so we he should get back increased to the that. Then. Is it really a time machine? You're not to breathe a word of this to anyone. <sighs> I sure do hope Mr. Prawn doesn't get mad at us again. Part time girl! Hello down there! <laughs> Hello this is down no there. Time for do, do, do. Where's Mr. Braun? Who's that? Daddy's name isn't Mr. Braun. You oh, big you're weirdo. talking about the big boss man. Man, he, he gives special names for everyone. Yeah, cool. Why do you think I'm fiddling with my bike? Yeah, okay. Man, that group keeps getting bigger and bigger. We keep getting more females. Hard to even call you the resident female when females outnumber males at this at Future Gadget Industries now or labs or whatever. Okay, that was simple. <laughs> it's real. Hey. Interesting. What was that? You know what that was? Divergent singularity. All right. Sounds good to me. Some juicy chicken tenders would go really well with all of this. Huh? Hold on. Where's the bag with my soda? Sorry, sold out. Then you beat a path from store to store till you Dr. find Dr. Pepper. It. I, I had Dr. Pepper this earlier. To an assistant worth her salt. I'm not gonna schlep all over town just to get you soda. Uh, it's worth Here. it. No. No, it's healthy. Good over. lord. I'm a mad scientist, not some shriveled octogenarian mewling about his fiber intake. Wow. Ugh, let the round table now assemble. Just a sec, man. I'm getting the sweats. What in the nine hells do you think you're doing? You want the organization to hear this? Why not invite them in? Yeah, whatever. Oh? Shining finger? Oh, what's a round table? Starting now, Operation Weird goes into the second phase of experimentation. Operation which Weird. Will allow us to gauge D Mail's effect. Barley tea is so good in the summer. You want some, Wicca? Okay, so what kind of experiments are you thinking of? We are going to change the past. Jesus, that's... No way. We are not taking that kind of risk. What if it results in a time paradox? Then so be it. Any true mad scientist would absolutely kill to know if D-mails can really alter the past. You disappoint hmm, interesting. me. Interesting. I... I just think... How are you gonna prove it, Okarine? Yeah, that's gonna be so interesting. Much for yeah, By that's... virtue of a single event, the occurrence of which will brook no doubt. Oh? What are you gonna change? Taking the winning numbers in the lottery. That's simple. That actually makes sense. Oh, Kareen. I'm disappointed in you. Dude, sick. I'm totally rolling up to the curb at Queen May's in the Earthbound equivalent of a Instead Star of Destroyer. Gusses, wow, the be Earthbound nicer, equivalent of a Star Destroyer. Happen? We could give everyone on Earth an Oopa cushion. Oh, Cause shut up. Be... Way to be a total jackass. Uh, I actually am with him because that's an easy way past, to do it. Woman, we need a quantifiable change. And that's the first thing you could think of? Quiet, little Miss Moneybags. Uh, little money Miss Moneybags, that's true. Hell? Well, that's what you really are. Lounging in some opulent hotel room your parents are paying for. Damn, Let's get wrecked. Get there, Antoinette. Don't get you wrecked. have a lot to fix? Marcus is right. We should what figure that fuck? out. Which one should Mary Antoinette was very rich. Which one indeed? What's the matter? Not sure. Where's 005? Don't know. What are you doing? There you go. Can't take my eyes off you for a second, can I? I texted. You never replied. Dude, smoking hot aside, what a space cadet. I know, right? Christina! You are hereby tasked with preventing her from wandering off. Huh? Hey, I'm not your guard dog. Poor Moika stuck on the couch. Would you like me to give you the grand tour of the lab? It really is a whole lot of fun. There if you don't much. believe me, just ask Kurosu. There really isn't much. Hmm, now where to start? Yeah, Makase did enjoy it. How about the Lotto 6? It looks juicy. <sighs> They've just announced this week's winning numbers, so now we send them into the past and see what happens. You're really going to do this. If you have a better idea, speak up. The yeah, that's actually right the most so obvious song. Looks like the current jackpot's at... 200 million! 200 million? Oh, Daru, hold on! That's a little much, yeah? Say what? Well, hitting a jackpot of that size would only serve to... 
draw unwanted attention to ourselves. What a total chicken. Wow. Second prize? Oh, good call. Only 23 million. Oh, oh Jesus. Third? 700,000? Huh, perfect, that one, yes. Good form there, fearless leader. He's actually right. You don't want to make too much money here. If you ever feel oogie and you need some cheering up, just yeah. give him a big hug. Aw, Next up, very cute. the lab refrigerator. Oh, we'll get used to you, Shining Finger. I swear I'm gonna call her Little Finger at some point because of Game of Thrones. It's too similar. Time to earn your keep, 005. Oh, what are you doing? Here's your very first Future Gadget Lab assignment. Oh, this <gasps> she is <exciting>. asked. <laughs> I would like for you to compose the D-mail message. Something that will convince the ignorant me of a week ago to buy a ticket with the number we've provided. Nice. Seven days is 168 hours. Cool if I round up? That'll do. Short and sweet. Okay, ready when you are. <laughs> Stein's gate will finally swing open to admit me. Not that again. Here Getting he goes again. Day off. You but remarkably but he, close minded. We got a title scientist. drop as much as possible, even if the title makes no sense. Even though we're probably going to call like the final version of the time fun. machine. Fun. Ah! This nutcase? Get wrecked. They're the OTP. The final the version. I call my life. Why? Not OTP. Ah! I'm done. I'm done. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. Why are all my shows going completely insane? You are the OTP of the fanfic I call my life. Fuck my life. Oh my god. Oh my god. We will ship Kurisu, Makase, and Okabe, or Hohenheim, whatever the fuck. Hohenheim. Wow, I just... Hohenheim. That's... Wrong show. Wrong, incredible show. Oh my god. I'm done. I'm so done. Oh, jeez. Now... Oh yeah, the camera was being hella annoying earlier. It did not want to set up, and it still does not want to set up. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is staying in because, um... The OTP in the story called my life. Are you... You are a fucking hero. You are a national treasure. Oh my god, I love this man. I love this man. Oh my god. And then I also, I did hear Makase say, We are not OTP! Oh dear god, what the fuck. Let's go right now. You looked like you were both having fun. They were. Fun? Dealing with this nutcase? They're the OTP in the fanfic I call my life. Yeah! We are not OTP! Yes, oh. you are. So you know the jargon of the fanfic community. Yes, huh? you do! I don't ah! know what you're talking about. Ah! You rolled off your tongue so Yes, it did! Look, if we're going to do hilarious. this, let's do it. Oh, my God. Okay, everybody, I'm getting so ready you to are a nerd. the phone wave. <laughs> oh, my God. that kind of risk. What if it results in the time paradox? Come on. Fortune favors the bold. He's gonna... El. Sai. Kongru. El. Sai. Kongru. Oh, he sent it. Oh shit. What the fuck? Hey, are you in there? <laughs> are you okay? I, I don't know. How long, how long have I been just standing here like this? About 30 seconds, I guess. Oh, God. I actually lost half a minute? You don't remember anything? We were talking about what D-mail we should send to see if it would really alter the world line. Then all of a sudden... You rushed over to the phone wave and you went, ha ha, all breathy-like. Hey, Mayushi, do that breathy thing again, yeah? Oh, give it a oh, rest, Oh, my Dara. God. Huh? Holy shit. So he went back in time, like, what, 30 seconds? Or like a minute, or like two minutes, or a short period of time. It arrived. 
Are you sure you're feeling okay? What about the money from the lotto ticket? Did we win third prize, Christina? Tell me! Stop calling me that! Wait, what ticket? You really don't know what I'm talking about. He went because he went back in time. For the lottery! Our experiment to change the past! Sending back a D-mail! Stop acting like such a spaz. We haven't come up with a message to send back yet. What? Wouldn't it be nice if we tried to make world peace happen? Uh, we could give you everyone went, so a you went back in time? Because just think how happy they'd all be. Oh. Holy shit. It's open! Oh! Oh! Hey, oh. Well, come on in! Why are you here? That's... Uh, uh, I hope that you can forgive me, Kyoma! What? Why? Here. Oh, uh, two. 12, 18, and all the rest. Rukako, uh, how'd you come up with these numbers? Um, well, I tried to buy a lottery ticket using the numbers you gave me. Come again? You yeah. said I should play those numbers because they were lucky or something, so I tried. That was when? Guess it's been about a week now. Oh my oh. gosh, is your brain psychic, Ogarine? So, are we winner, winner, chicken dinner, or what? That's the thing. I got one of the numbers all turned around in my head. Huh? Aw, oh, you were so close, dude. Man, that sucks. Okabe, did you use the phone wave to do this? He went back in time. Oh, he, he didn't... I'm not gonna shoot you got the soda! To get you soda. Ah! Holy shit, Prangles. Holy shit! He's in another world line. This is world line three. I'm just gonna Don't go with world line existed. three. I'm not gonna say anything. Oh my Nothing. god. I think I three. existed. Perhaps my actions have rewritten the past. I have no memory of the experiment. We discussed it and carried it out together. It never but happened. Else remembers but it. it did happen. It's because you went into a third Only world one. line. Yep. This is world line three. It's just like that day. Yes, because that's when you entered world line two that you've been in. You were in world line two from that point in episode one to episode six to episode seven till just now. And now you just entered world line three. What you looking at? Which change stuff? Oh. <laughs> Something important to me. From the future, probably. You okay? Huh? You look like you've been brainwashed. I looked that rough? <laughs> Hell, maybe I was. <laughs> but if brainwashing would certainly explain whatever's going on. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Okay, apparently brainwashing is a real thing in involving CERN or something. He, she's checking to make sure he's not. You haven't been chipped. Chipped? Whatever it is, nobody's brainwashed you. Good to know. Good to know, <laughs> yeah. Hey, how do you wash your brain? Who we'll wash your brain? A mad scientist like yours truly would be happy to explain it to you. <laughs> Maybe we'll hold off. So yeah, she's a little less he's having a lot of trouble with the chaos. Thing, the craziness. I have to know. He's having trouble being crazy. <laughs> yeah. Cause you're... Summer, huh? There was one a while back, I know that. The shop was shaking pretty heavy. You should have felt another about ten minutes ago. Nope. Don't know how I could have missed it. You feel it? Nope. <sighs> could you be any more of a perv? Come on, they stick out. Nick wow. Wants me to look at it. What? See, Talking about boobs? I told you it's easy to hear what's going on. So ungodly loud. Uh, did you hear us going on about the time machines also? Mm-hmm. That was super interesting. Well, the knowledge you're privy to is... Relax, I'm not gonna go around blabbing about it. You know, if it's a problem with the time machines that's got you all down in the dumps, why not try hitting up old John Teeter for advice? Oh. In his earlier posts... Peter did mention that altering the past would change the the divergence. No. Yes, 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 yes. I I just wanted to say something real quick. Soldier from the future, gone to the past. It's unlikely, but if John Teeter is a character in the series, is gonna be a character in the series. Ms. Lucy here, whose name still fucking escapes me because, again, I don't know why I don't... I, I, what the fuck? Where are my notes? Um, is it possible she's John Teeter? Um, I think it's possible. I, I don't 
I wouldn't. I wouldn't put my money on it, but I think that's a vague possibility that we should consider is that she's actually John Teeter. So I'm going to go back about 10 seconds Advice. so I don't miss anything. In his earlier posts, Teeter did mention that altering the past would change the, the divergence number, I believe he called it, which would in turn shift yep. existence onto a different world line. Yep. Any memories from the previous world line that don't agree with the new reality basically overridden with the non-conflicting memories that, that makes would have sense. experienced. The D-mail tossed us from a world line in which Rukako didn't buy a lottery ticket onto one in which he did. And the past changed to reflect this new track. Wow, that's really cool. This that makes way, sense. We never sent the winning numbers for third prize back in time. It isn't that they don't remember it. To them, it never actually transpired. But to you, it did. Yet I remember everything. How is that possible? That's interesting. Uh, ah, balls! Nai, whatever you do, don't tell your daddy I was slacking off out here, okay? Only if you let me ride your bike later. Got yourself a deal. Nice. Hey, Very nice. Frankenstein. Good luck with that stuff upstairs. Oh, thanks. She's rooting for you. Whatever her deal is. Son of a... <laughs> yeah, you're home! Okabe, what the hell were you doing out here with my kid? Huh? My good Mr. Braun, I've no idea what you're... Don't lie to me. That's my baby girl you're eyeing, so don't think you can run your experiments on her up there in that creepy oh, lab good of Lord. yours. How dare you insinuate I would stoop to using a child as a lab rat? Why don't you ask Suza how what we were doing? She was out here with us. Say what? Is that the truth, honey? Uh-huh, she was out here, but she definitely wasn't slacking off. She wasn't, huh? What? <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> I'm making a break what for it. What the hell am I even paying you for? All you do is goof off. No, I, 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 Look I, 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 at this. Oh, you haven't even started on this. Oh, sucks. Again. Uh, he's going to whoop your ass. <laughs> Man, it's crazy to see Okabe this, like, serious and not crazy for this long. Like, it, it really shows he's circumstances, not crazy. I'm calling off today's phone wave test. Go home, you guys. Mm. Oh, Corrine. My Yuri knows something's up. I mean, they all kind of do, but my Yuri in particular really knows something's up. Hey, didn't you hear me, assistant? You're free to go. Just doing a little thinking. <laughs> oh, yes. You'd rather sit there and stare at my back than return to the <laughs> gilded cage of your stateroom, right? Little wow. Miss Moneybags? <laughs> little You're calling money me that bags. stupid name. I'm composing a very important message here. You insist on loitering. Do try to keep your inarticulate, brain-starved moaning to a minimum, please, zombie. Jesus, what a oh, savage! Good. We're back to my least favorite nickname. Jesus, that's long. You're like a schoolgirl waiting for that cute boy to write back. Speaking from experience, are we? <laughs> ah, nice. Nice. Get wrecked. What's up anyway? Who are you texting? John Teeter. Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. What's going on? Oh, Karine, thank God. Look, I just realized I made a terrible mistake. <clears throat> what? what? Talk, man. It's all, all my fault. Uh, uh, what? I left my wallet back at the lab. What? Yeah, and Queen May shut its doors to me. I hate to ask you, but could you maybe... Uh, uh, <laughs> now it's oh, my Yuri. Hello there, my Yuri. And the music changed all of a sudden. Daru's gonna be hitting you up for money. You don't have to give him anything, though. Okay. Okie dokie. But I called uh -huh. to see if you were feeling any better. If you're not, then I give you permission to hug my Oopa cushion for as long as it takes to cheer you up. Aw, they're all worried about him. You know what? I may just do that. You have a good night, okay? <laughs> Man, Okabe. I'm falling in love with Okabe even more now that I'm seeing the serious side to go <laughs> along with- Kira all smiles again. <clears throat> <clears throat> Is it Teeter? It's Teeter! It's him! Yes! 
I received your message. From what you describe, I can only conclude that you altered the past and shifted the world line. Your scenario does puzzle me, though. I don't understand how you've retained memories of your original past. It is problematic. I swear it's the truth. This has happened to me twice now. What do you make of it? I don't know. In the version of 2036 from which I hail, the idea of using email to alter past events hasn't been explored. The concept of altering the past and shifting the world line is nothing new to us. Yeah, of course. That said, course. it operates within limits we thought were absolute. No one has ever been known to maintain their memories across world lines and observe their changes. Wow. Even so, Kyoma, it might be that you have that ability. You really were chosen. You might be the one person who can guide the world beyond 1% divergence. Whoa. Guide the I got world. chills. What is he talking about? What is this 1% divergence you're talking about? Yeah, let's hear it. What lies beyond it that's so important? Oh man, I got chills. He's not going to respond, is he? Oh man, the dude, he's so desperate. He's just patiently waiting as long as it takes for a response from Teeter. <laughs> it's not going to be Teeter, is it? No. Nope. Beyond it lies oh. true freedom. Your future is condemned to dystopia unless that barrier can be crossed. My goal is to save the future. And you may be the only one who can do it. <gasps> I'm so cold. This is so great. You look like you've seen a ghost. It doesn't make any sense. This has got to be some kind of mistake. How can I save the future? That's absurd. <laughs> He's not going to pick it up. This music, the piano. Steins Gate starting to bring out the piano. Kilma, I ask you to be our savior. Oh, buddy. Shit just got real as fuck. Oh my god, shit just got so real. Holy shit, John Teeter has asked Kioma, has asked Okabe to be the savior of humanity, the savior of the world. Holy shit. I think he's gonna do it too. Somehow, some way, he's gonna save the whole damn world, and it's gonna be absolutely glorious. Oh my god, I'm super excited. This is gonna be crazy. I don't know really what to expect out of this, but this is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be insane. It's gonna be crazy. Oh my god, that was a that episode might have been the best episode of Steins Gate because we had some crazy shit happen. Holy God, this is getting hype as fuck. Holy shit. Holy shit. So that's an interesting thing. So when you change the world line, you shouldn't retain memories. But for whatever reason, Okabe retains his memories of the past. Kind of actually almost reminds me of ReZero a little bit. Although ReZero isn't... ReZero is way more straightforward and simple in, in its... I don't even want to say time travel, but in what the ReZero gimmick is, um, it works under a very simple set of rules. So like it's easy to understand, even though there is um, potatoes involving going back in time. But um, it's kind of that thing where it's like um, the the character retains their memories, and uh, and in most time travel things they do. But that actually makes a lot of sense that if you did this, like you wouldn't retain your memories. But for whatever reason, Okabe does. Now, it'll be really interesting if we ever learn why Okabe is retaining his memories, if there is some greater reason as to that, or if he's just special. He just he decided to be an anime protagonist. But um, whatever the case may be, this is a really interesting development. So that's how we change the past. So it looks like we're never going to... It looks Now we don't actually have to achieve time travel in the in the sense of um sending in the sense of literally physically going into the past because we can achieve time travel by sending emails to the past or text messages to the past and 
sending information that changes an event by giving people information of the past and they do things that's different and by that we are in a sense changing the future but we actually aren't time traveling because you're not actually changing the time what happens is is while the world line changes and you end up on a different world line you're at the same point so you the human isn't actually time traveling but with your message that does travel to the past you are changing the past and thus changing the present that you reside in in a different world line which is a really interesting way to deal with the time travel gimmick and i really like the fact that as it stands now they're not he um kiyome or kiyoma uh hoen whatever the fuck okabe isn't actually time traveling but he's changing the past and thus changing the present going on a different world line as we are now if i if i'm not missing anything we are now on the third the second divergence of the original world line or as i'm just going to easier more simply refer to it as the third world line it's the second divergence which is funny because i think divergence was in the title of episode seven but this is the second divergence from the world line that we saw at the beginning of episode one because we had our first divergence in episode one and now we have our second divergence here in episode seven and so far because in episodes two through six that we in no points in those five episodes did we actually change the past but now here in episode seven, we've actually changed the past and went on to the third world line or the second world line divergence. Or we've had our second world line divergence and are now, that's the best way to put it. We've had our second divergence and we are now on the third world line because of it. So that's actually really interesting because like, for example, and it's funny how little things can change when you change the past like that. Like in this particular scenario, um, Christina or um, Makase, uh, Makase Kuroso, redhead actually got the dr pepper whereas in the previous version she couldn't find it but in this version she could and that's just the little things that can change um when you change the past like the most random things can change and the smallest things that you wouldn't think would ever change because why the fuck would they can change because of um you know these shenanigans involving time travel which is really interesting and like i said i'm in love with the fact that as it stands now, the people aren't actually time traveling. They're just changing world lines based on, on sending messages to the past and thus changing the past, which thus puts them on a different world line. But it, like I said, it's also really interesting that Okabe has retained his memories both times. He's transitioned to a different world line. And yeah, there's some saucy stuff going on here. And I cannot wait to understand even more and just see where this goes now that he's been tasked as by john teeter has tasked him to be the savior of the world which is fucking nuts and man john teeter though i don't know there's a part of me that thinks it's fucking lucy whose name still fucking escapes me because they're not saying her name because at least i got um deck not deku fuck now i'm thinking of fucking uh uh, sword, uh, sub, not sword, I'm like, fucking hell, My Hero Academia, I'm thinking of Deku, oh, fuck, uh, oh, god, what's his name, oh, shit, Daru, I got Daru, I got Christina, uh, Makase Kurusu, I got Okabe, um, or Kiyoma, either one, uh, and, uh, I got, um, Mayuri, which is also the resident female, and then I got um, Shining Finger, who I don't remember her real name, but I remember Shining Finger. As long as I remember one name for each of those five characters, and obviously John Teeter, I'm happy. If I can remember Makase, if I can remember Daru, if I can remember Okabe, Mayuri, and Littlefinger, because those are the five members of Future Gadget Labs, and thus... For me, kind of the five most important characters, even though we do have other potatoes that are obviously very important to everything that's going on right now. And uh, yeah, this is awesome. So let's jump in to, uh, let's see, uh, let's jump into, let me change the sauce. There we go. We're all ready to go. Let's jump into episode eight of Stein's Gate in three, two, one, and play. Man, Stein's Gate might not have chosen, but... John Teeter has, holy shit, he's like fucking pissing himself. Yep, yep, the Messiah. Oh, this time we got the Messiah. That works. He, he, Me? Humanity's savior? Nonsense, I have chosen the path of the mad scientist. 
Oh God, this is great. Oh my God. He's like, what? I can't be the savior. In real life, he's just freaking out because he doesn't want to be because he doesn't want that responsibility and all that. But this is actually insane. This as a character. Oh my God. This is so good. <laughs> Me? Humanity's savior? Nonsense. I have chosen the path of the mad scientist. High five for chaos and destruction. <laughs> this is this episode. <laughs> Dude, you're freaking me out. Yeah, more than normal. <laughs> we shall be recommencing Operation Weird without further delay. Okay, but you know Mr. Braun's gonna lose his shit, right? Then let him! Wait, I told you before. This is too risky. Too risky? This afternoon you couldn't wait to begin. When did you say? You already sent it, didn't you? Yes, the experiment has indeed taken place. I have no doubt that the events of the past have been altered in certain details. No kidding. You mean we really made the jump to another world line? Near as I can tell, this would also explain yeah. why your memories of earlier today differ so significantly from my own. Oh yeah, you mean that whole lottery number thing you were talking about before? That's the one. So, then why are you the only one who remembers sending us that D-mail? According to Teeter, I might have an unprecedented skill. The only way I'll know is for us to change the past enough to shift the world line again. Holy shit. What's the skill? When a world line splits off and memories which are inconsistent with the new reality get erased, mine or not, I call it reading Steiner. Reading Steiner. Okay, Chaos Theory Homeostasis. Interesting title. I think more has to do with what you were just talking about, mate. But yeah, that's insane. She's freaking the fuck out. She's like, damn, that was $700,000, or God knows how much yen. Check it. Well, nothing in the sent messages folder. But it does look like a D-mail hit the inbox five days ago. So it worked. What do you think? Did I win? <laughs> if you had won, you wouldn't be asking me. Uh... Interesting. We sent a D-mail five days into the past telling Daru the position of the cards in his match with Ferris, so he should have won. Hey, Mayuri. This might sound like kind of a dumb question, but when I went up against Ferris the other day, did I... Sorry, what was that? Kick my butt? Huh. Yeah, of course. Sure, thanks. <laughs> wow. Uh... Daru got the message all right, but it didn't seem to change the past. Yeah, she's... It should have, though. Ferris is that he good. He knew where the cards were. Uh, I guess the world line doesn't jump for every little incidental thing that runs interference. I feel like we need to find a more objective way of analyzing whether or not we've gone through that kind of a shift. That's true. Really? Wait a sec. That what? doesn't mean I agree with what you're doing. I'm just saying. Wow. Aw, oh, okay. th these two are Why amazing you together. Able to retain your memories after a jump while all of ours are getting overwritten. You already know the answer. It's my reading Steiner. Reading Steiner. Oh my god. If you're genuinely curious as to how it works, perhaps you should be the one to send out our next email. I don't want to. Oh. Still worried about a time paradox? Changing the past just just feels wrong unfair. Yeah. That makes it, it is pretty fucked up. For better up. or for worse, the 18 years I've lived up until now have made me who I am today. There may have been bad times, but they've been mine just as much as the good times. In other words, you're a scientist. A uh, mad one. What? <laughs> Where'd you get that? You've well... no qualms about sitting back and letting others hurl themselves headlong to the unknown, obviously. <laughs> that is rather the attitude that sets mad scientists apart. That is Whatever. true. You are a mad That's scientist. In all seriousness. But you're both good people, even if one of you tries to act like one. Anyway, if we want to perfect the D-mail system, we're going to have to... Jesus. <laughs> Fucking shining we're finger, Moeka. More experiments. <laughs> good lord. Moeka? Yeah, Moeka, oh. sorry. Can I? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ almighty! I still don't know what's up with you. It seems like you've already been through this or something has happened involving you and time a travel. Tenacious one, shining finger. Yes, you are. Home again, home again. Jiggity jig. <laughs> this creeps hit the spot, huh? <laughs> G 
Do you actually ever go to class? I am awaiting my compatriot. <laughs> hey, what did I tell you about spooking my kid? I didn't do the least little thing to her. Come on, Nye. Let's go inside before this loser freaks you out any more than he already has. Wow. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, it's my Yuri. <laughs> do -do -do. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. I love it. Oh man, you she's something? so cute. Wow, my favorite. They kind of have like and almost Oak a sister situation. <laughs> Hi. Oh, good morning, Suzuha. Good morning, Suzuha. part time girl. Well, spill Suzuha. it. Suzuha. How'd it go with Mr. You Know Who? What do you mean? Time travel, goofball. Did you ever get a hold of Teeter or what? Yeah, he and I did end up corresponding, in fact, but I'm not exactly sure if I believe him anymore. What in the hell? <laughs> Why would you doubt him? Um, Why would you doubt me? No, I'm just kidding. Up about it? <laughs> oh. I think somebody just outed herself as a Teeter fangirl. Yeah, as if. Oh no, it's man! Everyone? She might guess. really be John Teeter. Holy shit! I don't know. Probably not, but like I don't know. And yeah, she really doesn't like Makase. Makase, what are you gonna so she do? Gave you the old stink eye yet again, huh? What's her problem anyway? People fighting really gets her me problem down. lies in the future. Uh, hey, I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding. Thank you. Nothing too complicated, Shining Finger. Make it simple enough that we'll know whether or not the past has actually been changed. I got this cell phone four days ago, but I don't like it. So I want you to tell the past me not to purchase it. I get it. If you see Molika and she's got a different cell phone, you'll know that it worked. You did tell her to stay simple. Indeed. Take your places, everyone! That's a cool... That's actually kind of a cool message. Was that supposed to look like a particle accelerator? Was that supposed to be kind of a joke Ready? of sorts? All right. Initialize the phone wave real name. <clears throat> Wait, what? A watermelon? That's perfect. Was it Suzuha? I just oh, wanted Riku. to apologize to you for Rika. getting the numbers Whatever. all mixed up when I bought that ticket for you. Do you think you can forgive me? Oh, of course. Yeah, of course I can. No problem. And my callow apprentice. Oh, he, up to this he's, he's step, trying so hard. He's having trouble oh, acting thanks. like a mess. Like hair. he's insane. Oh, are you leaving already? I figured you were in the middle of something, so... Uh, anyway, good luck with it. God, he is so hot. You come Fuck. come back sometime and try on my cosplay? Uh, I don't know about that. I'm not really into that sort of thing, you know? Oh, I understand. Aww. That's too bad, though. You'd look super cute in them. I'll see you later. Yeah. Okay. Later, Ruka. <laughs> Ruka, oh, me and names in the series. A gem. <laughs> yep, really is. Both of them, Mayuri and Ruka. Everyone else is insane, after all. The trap is the most normal part of here. Oh, whoa, whoa! It happening again. Whoa, what the hell? I don't have to ask this time. I felt it. Oh. Whoa! How did it change? How far back did you go? All this kind of blows my mind sometimes, you know? Something's different, but... Wait! Where's Shining Finger? She was just here! What How far about? back did he go? Just ignore him. That's what Wait, I Wait, he actually went back in time this time. <laughs> Or this is an alternate future where Shining Finger never happened. I never met Shining Finger. If she doesn't buy that cell phone, that never Ruka happened. Happened to stop by? My Ruka? No. Why do you ask? What about oh. Moika then? Has she been here today? I don't think so. Do I know her? Uh, Kirio Moika, the one I call Shining Finger. Oh, Karina. The quiet girl. I don't know who you mean. Oh my what God. Is this chick? Not just Mayuri Okabe. I've never heard of her either. Oh, God, oh, God indeed. We sent another D mail, didn't we? We did? What's different this time? Did we alter the past so thoroughly that Moika's very existence was negated? Impossible. I still have her earlier messages, so at least she was alive as of then, but what about now? 
It's not gonna go through because she doesn't have that phone anymore, doesn't she? She messaged me right back. It's very much in character. So she's still here. Wow, that's hardcore. Let me get this straight. Holy shit. The girl that you were asking about, Shining Finger, sent herself a D-mail and changed the past in that she never made her initial visit to the lab? Yeah. So many words, yes. Wow, that's hardcore. So, your ability to remember conflicting memories after a jump. You're reading Steiner, I think you called it? That name is ridiculous, by the way. <laughs> it really I is. Mean, <laughs> reading on, Steiner. It's just salad. Thank you so much for that unsolicited opinion from the peanut gallery. Yep. I have to ask you something, and I'm hoping you don't take it the wrong way. You're not, like, pulling our leg, are you? I wish I was. Okay, I'm ready! We can talk about this later. See you tomorrow! Holy shit. I know what I remember. Yep. Would I be? Oh man, this is this is fucking nuts. Seriously, I don't even know what to say anymore. How in there? A bunch of savages. I guess that's what hackers and mad scientists do. Hey, know what? We should get together some night and have ourselves a big sleepover. No, guys, and you got yourself a deal. <laughs> Better yet, why don't we have one in my hotel room? We can do that. Why not? <laughs> oh, I can't wait! It's gonna be so fun. Ah, <laughs> she's so sweet. Gotta love my Yuri. God, she loves saying that. Huh? Whoa, really? Lottery? Is it the lottery? Blasphemy! You made the pilgrimage here without your sacred blade? I, I thought you that... Wow, wow, wow. Wilka's wow. my extra special guest, so I want everyone here to behave. Cute. You are still okay with me dressing you up, uh, right? Wait, what? Sure. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? In, this, in, this, in, this, in, this, in this version, she just he decided to do the cosplay? Oh, God, yes. Infinity. I know, that right? Stammering Blossom is Mars, not Venus. Yeah! Yeah. It's Mars, you know. not Venus. <laughs> that's even hotter. What the fuck? What the fact that he's a trap makes it hotter? Yeah. Okay, I approve. Yep, yep. He's Karari from the game Rynet. <laughs> it fits perfectly. Oh, look of course adorable. it does. I've never been so embarrassed before. Don't be embarrassed. You're beautiful. You're the prettiest boy these goofballs have ever seen. That is true. Not, man. I would so hit that. Yeah. What do you think, Ocarine? <laughs> Let's see. Oh my God. Balls or not, I would so hit that. This, this. Oh my God. This show. You're the prettiest boy these goofballs have ever seen. Balls or not, man. I would so hit that. I know, right? What do you think, Ocarine? <laughs> Holy shit. Let's see. Code Red! The organization's attacking me with mind-blowingly adorable cosplay! Colors and colors are eating through my corpus callosum! Uh, are you going to be alright, Kyoma? I'll give it a rest. Good old Kyoma. Hey, Kurasu's here! Do -do -do. Oh, she can have the same reaction! Behold the pervert! Undressing the poor deer with her eyes. <laughs> no, I'm not. This moment gets better and better. Yes. Well, even what do the you girls think? are turned Looks on. Looks pretty cute, huh? Yeah, I could never pull off an outfit like that. Well, um, I usually wear more clothing. <sighs> okay, are you ready for the next cosplay outfit? Oh God, Yuri? more. I have a confession. More? I didn't actually come here to play dress up. I stopped by to ask the members of the Future Gadget Lab for a really big favor. Wait, so you're not really here to play dress up with me? I tried to tell you on the phone, but you sounded so excited I couldn't bear to disappoint Aww, you. I guess so I did kind of get carried away. So oh my Yuri, holy shit, this okay. is amazing. Don't be mad. I love my life. There's someone in the past I've got to send a really important text message to. <gasps> Sorry. Oh. Remember how I brought you that watermelon yesterday to make up for the ticket? We sent another <gasps> D-mail, didn't we? We did? What's different this time? Did we alter the past so thoroughly that Moika's very existence was negated? Impossible. I didn't mean to eavesdrop. I was about to knock right when you said that stuff. 
It's okay. Why don't you just tell us what message you want to send? I guess you can be 006, because okay. 005 I... will permanently be Moe Moeka no matter what. I think I was what. meant to be a girl. Huh? Uh, what? For as far back as I can remember, I've always felt awkward about wow. the look. Wow. I don't think it'd there. be a problem if the parts of me you see, you know, match the parts you can't. Wow. Wait, what? Time out for a sec. Why is the cute girl talking about not liking how she looks? <laughs> Alas, my poor it's a boy. Sister, allow me to shatter the candy-coated bubble of naivete around you. Yep. Naivete? Our dear Rukako isn't a female. Quite the opposite. How dumb do you think I am? Come on. Oh, it's the truth. I believe any scientist worth her salt would be conducting some field research. <laughs> right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Someone this cute can't possibly be a boy. Sorry, I'll just... Ah! Ah! That's not the best test. How you doing there? She's fucking Look, stunned. this isn't a joke. I'm totally serious about wanting to be a girl. Wow. Please let me do it. Here's the thing. I fail to see how sending a text message into the past can change a Y chromosome into an X. I've already got an idea, though. I heard that if you eat a lot of meat when you're pregnant, you end up having a baby boy. And if you eat lots of veggies, you have a girl instead. Maybe if she knew that. So, you want to message your mom and have her double down on the salad? Yeah, if you'll let me. So be it. Your request shall be summarily granted. Oh, oh Kyoma, thank you so much! This is so exciting! I hope it works! Me too! Wow! Me? I don't know if changing someone's gender is very smart. Some old wives' tale about food isn't going to change whatever gender he happens to be. He's right, Daru. There's absolutely no evidence to support it. Watch it happen. It's gonna fucking happen. Better. What's the harm in letting him try it? All right. Or swear your life among the mundanes and consent to become our newest lab member, 006. Yes. Now, let us begin without delay. Yeah, you kind of have to be 006. You're 17 06. years old this year, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, uh-huh. As I thought, that means you came into the world in 1993. Yeah. Why does it matter when Ruka was born? And someone remind me what year it was when cell phones started to become popular in Japan? Oh. Looks like it was 96, and we're talking bare bones telephony. Messaging wasn't until later. So what oh. we're saying is that we shouldn't just assume anything. Rukako's mother might not have had a cell phone in the early 90s when she was pregnant with him. Wait, you mean he won't be able to send a D-mail? Oh, no. But what about email? We could tweak the phone wave to do mind control. Yeah, I see you using that power for good. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can totally picture it. Ferris at my command. Ew. I've got it. <laughs> My brilliance is frightening even to me. If you've got something, just spill what is it? If cell phones are off the menu, then let's try sending it to a pager. Let's see here. Huh. Pagers were miniature receivers to which one could send signals through the telephone. They enjoyed widespread use in the 1990s, but were antiquated by the advent of cellular phones. Yep, basically. Pagers, huh? So that's what they looked like. Quaint technology. I take it you're familiar with it, Christina? That's still not my name, and I'm just reading what's here. Yeah, makes sense. Well, I hope you're ready for your first assignment, 006. It pertains to your wish. Ascertain if your mother had a pager, and then ascertain the number of said pager. I'm on it. Yeah. Good news, Kyoma. She totally had one. Still remember the number, too. Excellent work, 006. Have you decided what you're going to say? Yes. I hope she already knows she's expecting when she gets this. I figured information stored in a pager was limited, so the message shouldn't be too complicated. I think it was a good idea to keep the message as short as we can. Now we just need to convert it into digits. Yep. Monkey wrench. Conversion's burning through more numbers than I thought it would. Huh? Looks like we can only transmit enough numbers for 24 characters at a time, which means we're four over the limit. Fine. Observe. Turning it into numbers, we get... Are you ready to send your D-mail, Ruka? Interesting. Yes. Eat veggies for a healthy idea. child. It's perfectly safe. Man, the fact that you guys think it's going to be okay, show. yeah, he's nervous, and that's going to be why it's not. Here we go. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, you've opened the Steins Gate now. What? What the fuck? different but i remember everything does that mean 
No way. <laughs> I don't know anyone who would go out in that. Sure, why not? It's comfy enough. Oh it my god, here we go. Really cute in this, Ruka. Who, me? Oh my god. Oh, that's such a weird... Dude or not. Oh, real nice. Keep your eyes on the face, mister. Uh, I was doing research. <laughs> now what? I can't ask if Ruka's a girl. The poor thing would probably faint. I guess the text didn't work. Dude, stop. Why are you such a creeper all the time? I know, time? right? Don't smile, you're grossing me yep. out. Yeah, bad old green. Yeah, I know, right? Kind of skeeziness from Daru what wouldn't hell, surprise green? me, but I expect better from you. Hey, Do you really you expect better from just a red Okabay? Call it what you want. I've seen your hard drive. Ew! Yeah, are you talking about Worse than mine. <laughs> something has changed from before. We're on a different world line. Yep. Something. The question is, what? Hmm. Interesting. I guess we'll have to see what uh, what's going on next time. Um, because that's the end of the episode. Kind of an interesting ending there. Kind of a, a kind of not... I don't want to say a lackluster ending. It's just not a dramatic one is the best way to put it. Okay, so this is... Yeah, this comes up as Chaos Theory Homeostasis Part 2. So it looks like we have more kind of general continuation, even though the show kind of does continuation in general. But, uh, yeah, that was episode 8 of Stein's Gate, and holy shit, now we're really fucking with the world lines. Are we on... Holy shit, are we on world line... Oh, man, I'm trying to... Okay. We're on world line 5, if I'm not mistaken, because world line 1 was in episode 1, world line 2 was the episode with the line that we played with for, like, 6 episodes. World line 3 was... The Lottery, World Line 4 was Shining Finger, and yeah, World Line 3 was The Lottery, World Line 4 was Shining Finger, and now we're on World Line 5, where we potentially have Ruka as a girl, potentially, which would be insane, and that, wow, I can't believe they went there, that was actually so cool, I mean, obviously having a character like that, not just a trap, but even kind of being really open about the whole thing of, like, wanting to be a girl, and then that whole thing, and, like, man, like, wow, what a, what sauce is going on here, that's actually really fucking awesome, and now we'll see further progression of that whole thing, and we'll see where this all goes as, uh, we find out what's going on with all the sauce, and if, uh, yeah, we're going to find out what's going on. It's going to be really interesting. I'm really curious to see if Ruka's a girl or a boy. It doesn't really matter. Hot as hell either way. I'm with Daru on this one and, and Okabe and Makase because all three of them would smash regardless of gender because we would all. Don't lie. The only one who might not is my Yuri because my Yuri is just my Yuri and she just wants to be friends. But everyone else there would totally smash. Um... <laughs> But yeah, awesome stuff. Um, man, that's actually such a crazy thought. Trying to change your gender via uh, trying to change your gender via uh, Dmail. That's such a crazy thought. Um, yeah, that sounds absolutely ridiculous. That whether you eat a lot of meat or a lot of veggies would determine the sex of your child. That sounds absolutely ridiculous. Um, but. Who knows? Because um, regardless of that, you're, you know, you're still changing the past from way back when, which seemed to not have a lot of uh, major effects because, I mean, this show isn't really messing with the butterfly effect that much. Like it said, it, it, it makes the slight changes and then it tries to reconfigure. It tries to reconfigure everything. Um, they kind of explained it in episode seven, kind of what was going on. And I actually really like this kind of version of time travel a lot more than the kind of generalization of the butterfly effect that they tend to do. Even though to in a degree, we might still have things where like certain changes can have drastic impact on everything else. But in general, it tries to piece together the universe as similarly as possible while, um, you know, working with the correct set of memories and like, um, the correct things that happened in this particular world line. So it's actually kind of really cool. I really enjoy the time travel like gimmick of Steins Gate and how they're pulling it off. And now we're in world line number five, if I'm not mistaken, because like I said, you had the episode one change where, you know, world line two where Makase isn't dead, and then world line three where um, with the lotto ticket, they missed the lotto ticket by one. World line four is where... Um, 
yeah, World Line 4 is where um, um, Shining Finger never ended up part of the labs, and then World Line 5 where they tried to change Ruka into a girl. Um, I'm going to try to keep track of all those World Lines. Hopefully I remember to note down each World Line and kind of what changed the what, – what D-mail they sent and how it changed the World Line, and we still got the thing. I'm really curious – where this is going so uh yeah let's jump into episode nine uh, i believe it was chaos Ho theory homeostasis part two in three two one and play oh fuck here i go again oh man i, I forgot i remembered to do it for episode eight but not episode nine. Oh, wonderful all righty all right let's uh now let's jump into episode nine in three two one and play right. We've established beyond a reasonable doubt that our D-mails are indeed being sent into the past. Yep. We didn't exactly improve my chances against Ferris and the Rhinet tourney. Now, now, we can't work miracles. Yeah, <laughs> sure. nice. In Ruka's case, there were issues of accuracy, but I'm confident the time machine will be fully operational with time one or two... Uh, uh, mind your business. That's exactly what I'm trying to do if you hadn't noticed. Now, would you like some milk, sugar, or flavored syrup? No, thanks. Ah, having trouble choosing? Yeah, yeah. No, uh, God, you get to come hither stairs. Seriously? Hey guys, we're back. Um, I only got about 40 seconds or 45 seconds or so into episode 9 of Stein's Gate before my camera just spazzed out and said, fuck you. So, I just decided let's start over the episode at zero and continue on. So anyway, Stein's Gate episode 9, we will uh, once again start it over at uh like i said at zero and we and it um and it will come oh god and it will commence in three two one and play right. we've established beyond a reasonable doubt that our d-mails are indeed yep. being sent into the past so we saw this ferris was giving him exactly the come hither look that was like the last thing term. that uh now now daru said miracles Sure, I think. in Ruka's case, there were issues of accuracy, but I'm confident the time machine will be fully operational with time one or two... Uh, uh, mind your business. That's exactly what I'm trying to do if you hadn't noticed. Now, would you like some wow. milk, sugar, or flavored syrup? No, thanks. Ah, having trouble choosing. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, Whoa. God, you get to come hither stairs. Seriously? I want you to die oh, Kyo, a fire so Why are you secrets from each other, my darling? What you the really fuck? You me liable to crack under such a paltry display? You are impervious, sir. How about you, Daru? <laughs> Rest assured, he's we just as strong as I. We sends text messages into the past. Have you zero restraint? Really? Well, now. Fuck. You had to tell her because you are terrible, Daru. Daru That's why we love you. you tell one person at a time. Me? Okay, that is not fair. Oh. You can't just... Uh, why do you always have to be so predictable? Awkward. Uh, uh. Interesting. Was that... Was that, uh, I forget if it's mother or father. I think father is the one that she knows. Or is it mother? It's one of them. One of them she hadn't seen in years, and the other is in the States, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, what I... Just so you know, oh. I was not having an argument. Uh, all right, but you certainly fooled me. Wow. But your eyes are still bloodshot. <laughs> oh, Whatever, I got dirt girl. in them or something. Shut up. Uh, could this be any more cliched? I know, right? It wasn't I'm with what you. it looked like. Things are complicated, okay? Don't even think about going there. I didn't breach the wall. You're the one who brought it up. Well, that I don't want to talk about it. You want to talk about it? Yep. You want to talk about it? Yep. Yep. Aww. That's cute. My Yuri was right. Wow. Holy shit. This sucks. Christina. Go away, uh, don't talk to me. Call her Makase. Come on. Look, for what it's worth, I cherish our friendship. I'm here to listen, so. Seriously? <laughs> wow! As calculated, she took the bait. Yes, wrapped around my little finger like a mobster's pinky ring. Yes! <laughs> Fucking <laughs> asshole! Yes, yes, exactly. I would add a whole, but there yes. Today. Yeah? Thanks, Ferris. You're probably on your way to see Kiyoma now, huh? Mm-hmm. He wants me to pick something up for lunch. 
Interesting. So, have you seen it with your own eyes then? The time machine? Oh, geez! Sorry? Wait, what? Oh, you mean the phone wave. The what? All the lightning and cracklies? Oh, jeez, I didn't even bed. recognize you. Holy it shit. kind of scares me. I don't know. I didn't even know oh, you worked wow, there. I bet it looks like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. Yeah. But if I had to be totally honest, I liked it better before they started messing with this time travel stuff. How come? <sighs> well, I guess... Because every time they use it, it feels like Ocarine's further away. Yeah. He this really is. Discussion will now commence. Me first, please. Literally and figuratively, kind of. On well, not point literally, of order. but... Mayushi said she wasn't cosplaying today, but look at her. She isn't cosplaying. That's her school uniform. I just didn't feel like changing out of it. Ultra realism. <laughs> Whoa, who knew it could be so... That's enough, thing. Don't be Don't creepy. Yeah, thought. do not perv on my Yuri. She's impervious uh, to being perved on. You knock it off. I'm trying to chair a meeting here. You told me to bring everybody yeah. lunch. I'm just doing what you said. Forgive him, sweetie. He's just upset because he's not Sir Galahad. The topic of discussion on the lab docket for the day happens to be corporeal time travel. What? Mayuri, is there any barley tea left in the fridge? Mm-hmm. I think so. <laughs> wow. Is awesome. Good lord, shut up, Daru. The organization has infiltrated and demoralized my constituency. I can't get a toehold on their diminishing attention spans with even the most grandiose of So what's new, you guys? You're each of you barbarians for dismissing so pregnant a topic out of hand. It's a moot point. If we can send information to the past, who's to say we can't? I say. <clears throat> 36 bytes of information is our natural barrier, which means we're limited to text, plain and simple. But if you think we should try shoving a whole person across the boundary, go right ahead. If you want to risk turning into a gel ocarine. <laughs> Sounds pretty oh, gross. Oh, yeah. Someone got schooled. Good old ocarine. CERN's already established how enormously difficult it is to travel bodily through time. Bear in mind, if the world's largest particle collider can't manage it, what chances does a souped-up microwave have? You act as though we haven't seen what it can do. No. I just don't know how. What we do know is that CERN's methods revolve around the conjunction of a black hole and some kind of lifter. lifter it's a fair yeah, assumption our called. setup here works in the same manner. But it's also a fair assumption that whatever's smart. acting as our lifter isn't the microwave. So what is? Who knows? Add to that the fact that we can only send out D-mails at certain times. I mean, come on, even for a prototype, what we've got to work with here is fairly rudimentary. Until sure. we know more, we should keep the wishful thinking at a minimum. How typical. Yeah, okay, reality check. Serious research. Yeah, isn't I'm actually with her safari. this if time. If you profess to be a scientist, you should be... I am decidedly not a scientist. I am a mad scientist. Oh, for the love of... <laughs> could you be more Good of a Lord. Wesley? Uh, excuse me? Yeah, is that an American thing I'm that I don't get? Referencing... <laughs> Look, whatever you think Wait, I took that from, you're wrong. So what just it... let it go. I don't know that reference. <laughs> Crap! Please try to stay focused. Very well, back on point then. Speaking of CERN, what's our update on the intel we've called You're a bigger nerd than server. you want to admit. Christina, Madam Next Gen. I said leave it the hell alone! Oh, Star Trek the Next Generation, maybe? Yes, you... Uh, I have nothing noteworthy to add. <laughs> I see. What the hell? That's my guess, Star Trek Next Generation. Damn it, lay off! When I hear so Next Gen. How's the hacking coming along? I got zilch, man, sorry. Until we can crack the proprietary code the Companion server's built on, we're basically spinning our wheels. Is that not what the IBN is for? You make it sound like we got one on tap. What are you saying? What are you saying? I thought we deciphered the code already. Uh, I'm good, but not that good. So what's uh, become of the 5100, then? Dude, how in the frack should I know? Oh, shit. Nonsense. Interesting, that's what okay. changed. Level with me, Christina. Have we not located the 5100 and brought it here? I don't see how we could have. We don't have the first clue where one is. Whoa, that's what they lost. All right, just for the sake of argument, let's assume I believe you. To reiterate, you say we got one on loan from Rukiko's father? Yes, exactly. You and I carried the damn thing here ourselves. Yet between the two of us, you're the only one with any memory of this. Clearly our D-mails are shifting things around. Yeah, but so dramatically? I mean, broken down, the texts we've been sending yep. are trivial. 
It's the butterfly, butterfly effect. effect. I knew she was gonna fucking say that. Even the simplest Here we go. Parents can cause world lines to split. I knew. From one where we didn't buy a lottery ticket to one where we did, for example. Yep. The facts of one world line change ever so slightly, and from there the process just feeds on itself. Yeah. It's like shooting pool. One ball hits two, those hit two more apiece, and so on. Billiards is a great way to explain it. Kind of well, yeah, butterfly effect, but it's so interesting that she IBM brought up this pool. No idea. Where was it? No, no, you're right. We had one. I asked Dad and he said we'd been keeping it in storage. Thing is, it disappeared. Oh, I see. Someone got it. Well? No cigar. They did in fact have one as I remembered, but apparently it's gone missing. Great. So That's perfect. not good. Of course, they don't know when, which means the trail's gone cold. So, a dead end. Well, now they gotta find the IBN else, again. But keeping a computer in a shrine seems weird to me. Besides, who would have known it was there? Ferris? Hey, Ferris? Yeah, what's up? Well, I've got all the questions for tomorrow's maid swap here. Ten of them ought to do the trick, don't you think? Mm. If you could travel back in time and redo one thing, what would you choose and why? <laughs> what would your answer be? <laughs> oh, well, you know, past is past. I've never really been one to dwell. Like the feline, my first and only concern is with the moment I'm living right now. Of taking course. pleasure in each... <laughs> Get wrecked, you're clearly not telling uh, the truth. Sorry, excuse me for a second. Well, Ferris speaking. Kiyoma, hey, what's up? Is it true that you once stored an IBN 5100 at the Yanabayashi Shrine for safekeeping? Well, Dad had a bunch of old computers, so maybe it was him. Hmm. Uh, Kiyoma? Be straight. Not that it's any of my business, but does this have to do with you guys' time machine? Yes, it does. Oh, don't be shy. You said is that what I think it is? Oh, wow. Uh, oh, metal Oompa. You don't have it. Don't even think about trying me. You'll just lose it again. Huh? Again. 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 You can stand there if that you want. never happens. Things to do. Okay, hang on a sec. Hey, Daru. Come in. Hold up. <sighs> what is that? Limited edition swag. I've got zero impulse control. Hey, like you we say, know you boss, do. When Steins Gate opens, the stout of heart are there with cold hard it's cash. It's not comic book shop. What the hell? Why are you even here? You Actually, commenting on Steins Gate. I do not like my assistant to be there by herself. To hell with a bunch of that ass munch. I'm not letting you drop in ass on Ferris munch. at home without me if there. If Daru gets to tag along, it's not fair if I can't. Uh, I told you, I'm not even sure why she invited me in the first hey, place. Hey, it's Kirari! Uh, not again. <laughs> Wait! Who? Damn it all. I didn't recognize the name. <laughs> little Finger. Little Finger. She heard Little... He heard Little Finger. Or little Finger. Fuck! I knew that would happen! Shining Finger, there she is! There she is! Shining Finger! It's Moeka. I need to talk to you, please! <laughs> Don't get hit by a car, dude. That would be that would be anticlimactic. Crap, you lost her. Oh, no, you didn't? I don't understand. He's supposed to be here. You. I'd be in. I heard you say. Please, do you know where it is? Know where what is? No, I don't. I thought you. You. You don't know? What the hell? What's going on in this world line? Why are you so desperate to find it? We still don't know going? why she wanted it. Come we never on, learned that. That girl really knows how to wear clothes. I've got to get her into cosplay one of these days. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Am I wrong, or are you talking like the two of you have met somewhere before? Uh, because we have. What? How? Uh, when? Uh, Where? You brought her 
into the lab! She remembers! <gasps> she remembers! After Moaka sent her D-mail, as far as the gang was concerned, she never existed. Wait, what? Now, though, when Ruka sends one, it Moaka's somehow back in the fold. Every time D-mail gets used, some detail about the past drastically alters. Whoa. And it can overwrite past. Because you're changing the past, it's a whole nother. So other things can change, and some sure things can be right that, that even changed sure originally could change back. It's on the top floor. Oh dear, is she rich? Good lord, you can't even see it. Oh, there it is. The young mistress will be with you all in just a moment. Please wait here. Whoa. Well, I suddenly realized why butler cafes yep. haven't really caught on. Yep. I've never seen a real life butler before. <laughs> Look, the people are like ants from here. What of a course. splendid view. Of course. <laughs> of course. Oh dear. We're never getting him back. No, you Sorry are. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, oh hi it's... there. Ferris out of her make it up. My life is officially complete. <laughs> that is Ferris? actually pretty cute. Yes. The opulence of your living quarters begs a rather obvious question. Do you not agree? Why are you a maid? Um... Meow, meow, meow. Don't toy with me. Explain yourself or we hereby part ways, madam. <laughs> you don't have to be so rude. My family owns a great deal of land here in Akihabara. Most of it, as a matter of fact. Oh dear Wait, God! Like the whole town is yours. Good in Lord. In a nutshell, yeah. Uh, so I'm kind of confused. She and the city have the same name, kind of. So you know. Uh, no, I know her by no other name but Ferris. Stop uh, acting like a petulant child. Oh, it's wow. quite all right, actually. Moe culture thrives here mostly because of my influence, so it's sort of a compliment. What? You? She has her finger on the pulse of our generation, dude. I've always said so. The maid cafe is the wellspring from which all mana flows. I bow to her vision. What the fuck? Very sweet, but I'll thank you not to let the cat out of the bag about all this. I want everyone to treat me like the same old Ferris they know and love. I will take your secret to my grave! Oh, thank you, Meowster. Can Meowster? the cat lingo? Where have you okay, secreted Ferris. the IBN 5100? Oh, I'm gonna get to that. But first, if you'd all be so kind, I have an itty bitty whittle favor to ask. Ha! You intend to extort us? It's really not that big of a deal, hmm. I promise you. Doesn't I just involve time like travel? to use email for myself one time. That's all I want. Oh, Jesus. Why put a cap on it? You can send as many as you like. Hey, third-party access is not something with which we're comfortable. Yeah, okay. So we make Ferris a lab member, and it's not really an issue anymore. Out of the what? question, damn it. It's just we don't yet understand the consequences. Oh, I see. So we can use it to win the lottery. But Ferris, that's crossing the line. That's some BS, man. She just wants to use it once. <sighs> that is not what this is about. Wait. There's no guarantee we'll be able to find the 5100 again, if again is even the right word now. Yeah. So... Ferris may be able to help. Yeah. And the 5100 is very important in very regards well. to CERN, who we've not brought up for a while. Condition that you consent to become a full-fledged lab member. Or not much. So this moment, you are christened 007 Akiharumi. Ah, She's 007! <laughs> Oh, she's our James Bond. We got to our James hey, Bond. I knew we had to get to 007. You're absolutely certain you want to send it back in time ten years. Oh, yes, I'm sure. So what does it say? Something secret. That is not how this works. As head of the Future Gadgets Laboratory, I have a right to know what we're unleashing on the uh -uh. world. Uh, Boys aren't allowed to pry into a girl's private life. Oh, dang. You wouldn't want people reading your text messages, would you? Women's lib! Uh Women's lib, wow. Okay, fine. Simply hit the send button and the deed is done. Oh, he's actually calling. Hello? Assistant, snap two. I require a status report. Is that your idea of manners? Glass wow. Glass much? Yeah. Ugh, that woman of all the... Hello? Ho oh, in Kyoma speaking, don't hang up. Halloween. Oh, it's you. I wow. thought I had a stalker or something. Wow. I show up on caller ID. So, for all I knew, a serial killer could have gotten a hold of your phone. <laughs> what the oh, hell, oh, girl? A veiled confession that Hoeen strikes fear into your heart. Wow. 
Wow, fucking she Christina. Time, I'm going to I, I love Imagine you, Makase. Uh, no, she's just a cold-hearted, self-absorbed harpy. A harpy, eh? Now you listen to me. <laughs> what the fuck? Hello. Hello. Welcome to Irene Tarot, calling from Makise. Speaking. Uh, yes, I was wondering if I might impose upon you to activate the phone wave as per the settings laid out in the prior text message. That is, if I'm not interrupting anything important, of course. Wow. Well, she has whipped him into shape. You sound like a 12 year old when you talk like that. Incidentally, don't you think it's time we stop calling it the phone wave? I mean, oh, I'm not polite often because A, I'm a mad scientist, and B, you're not worthy. No, no, no. The two of them have something no, 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 trouble getting along well, you'd have so kind of yeah <laughs> kind of all that what what were you saying are you jealous maybe this isn't such a good idea ferris <gasps> we have full discharge go for it now what did you write <laughs> she said <laughs> oh here we go here we go Who the fuck? That's not the Hello? butler. Hmm? Who are you? Huh? Uh, Daddy! <laughs> Daddy? He lived. Mama wasn't bothering you, was he? No. Sorry to run, but I've got to be on my way. It was a pleasure. What? So I'm assuming he was dead and she somehow saved his life? Or am I mistaken? Wow, your dad seems like a really sophisticated type of guy. Duh, he raised Ferris. He's got to be like a secret superhero or something. Wow. Uh, sir, are you familiar with the IBN 5100 by any chance? Hmm. Well, there's a name that takes me back decades. You have one? Uh, I'm afraid I jettisoned mine quite some time ago. Do you remember if you happened to donate it to the Yanabayashi Shrine? Sorry, I'm not even familiar with the name. Well, good day to you all. Interesting. He's a nice looking dude. He looks really cool. All right, you have some explaining to do, don't you, Okabe? Holy shit, this is actually crazy. Okay. Was this World Line 6 or World Line 7? The shrine had had the IBN in storage, but had gone missing. But now, apparently it was never taken there to begin with. Yep. Every time we send a message to the past, things get shifted around. Yep. For every detail that Dude. changes. Okabe might actually go insane no at this rate. Of. Yep. Yep. Oh, yep, we're near the end. Oh, God. What if things can't be shifted back? What if we've gone too far? Earth to Ocarine! <laughs> Snap out of it, silly. I want to stop in Nakano before we oh. head home to get a nice or doujinshi, remember? Wait, Nakano? You can't be serious. You do know that Nakano's not exactly on the way home, right? Yeah. Sure be nice if they opened up a shop Can around escape? here someday where I could buy one. Have you lost... I do want to actually read that real quick here. You know that Nakano's not exactly on the way home, right? Yeah. Sure be nice if they opened up a shop around here someday where I could buy one. Have you lost... Green. Snap out of it, silly. I want to stop in Nakano before we head home to get a nice or doujinshi, remember? Wait, Nakano? You can't be serious. Why isn't that coming up now? What Nakano's the hell? Not exactly oh, God. I want to. I want to see those lyrics. Sorry about this, guys. What if we've gone too far? We Earth cannot to escape the twelve merciless truths and the controlled so oath we took. I want to stop before we head home to get a nice or doujinshi, remember? Interesting. Wait, Nakano, you can't be serious. You do know that Nakano's not exactly on the way home, right? Yeah. Sure, be nice if they opened up a shop around here someday. Where Wish I for a tomorrow home. full of rest. Have you lost your senses? Our backyard is lousy with such. You're Whoa. a real goofball sometimes. Forgotten where we live, dude? Oh! Holy shit! Oh. These lyrics. Oh. Oh. Here's your lab. Here's your gadget lab. The realm life. Oh. Holy shit! Fly, butter. Whoa! That fucking beat! Yo! Yo! Also, outro! Everything is being rewritten indeed! 
That's so cool. What the hell? What the hell is... What the hell is that? Purple hair girl, what the fuck? Holy shit. Holy shit. Yo. They... They're whole... They're fucking... What? Holy shit. So if, I, I guess Ferris's dad was dead. So if they lose Ferris's, if Fer, with with the with the message that Ferris sent ten years into the past, and Ferris's dad not dying or whatever happened, whatever happened that she did, her message, which we don't even get to know what the message was, that's the first time that a message was sent into the past that we didn't know. Okay, you know what? They're pulling this off well. I, I They were kind of avoiding really the actually going full butterfly effect earlier in their sauce. And then they actually decided to start going full butterfly effect. Now that they're going full butterfly effect, I have to admit, because it's Steins Gate and this show's incredible, they're doing it so well that it's working out. I am absolutely adoring this. I think they're doing an absolutely fantastic job with this episode and you know the whole thing of what they're doing is just absolutely crazy and I am enjoying the absolute hell out of it this is absolutely fan freaking tastic I love it so great so so great I'm enjoying the hell out of it and yeah it's just oh it's just so good freaking Oh my god, that's insane. Um, I've already lost track of how many world lines we've gone into. I'm not even going to worry about how many world lines we've gone into. I might, if I do take, I still need notes for some of these character names and stuff. Um, I'm going to try to uh, actually keep track of each world line sauce. But um, yeah, this is absolutely insane. So I'm really curious because now, now that we know that all this has changed, now that we know that they don't even live in the same place, I'll be really curious to see how much other residual changes have occurred. Of course, you know, because from the change in world line because of, good, of the good old butterfly effect. So that's going to be absolutely insane. And I love how the song was all about it. It was talking about the butterflies and how the butterfly fucks everything up. And that's fucking insane. That that timing. Like, I love when they play the song and, and they, like, instead of doing an outro, they actually play the outro theme. And, like, in that case, it was so ridiculously fitting. Like, holy shit. That was fucking mental. Oh, my God. That... That just like blew my mind. That was so crazy. Like that was one of the last things I would have ever expected to change. Like I'm waiting for the time where they've never met Makase. Like that's what I've been waiting for. And then just fucking uh, Kiyoma, fucking um, Okabe fucking losing his mind over the fact, like freaking the fuck out because they never met Makase. That's what I've been waiting for this entire time. And yet, that has yet to happen. Instead, what's happened is they fucking lost Future Gadget Labs. Although, it was just Daru, Kayori, or Mayori, sorry, Mayori, Daru, and Okabe. So I guess there is actually the legitimate possibility, Okarine, uh, the legitimate possibility that they have not met Makise in this reality, in this world line. But I assume they have, but we don't know. We didn't see Makise there. Like I said, it was just the, the original three members of Future Gadget Labs. So we'll see what happens. Uh, this also, who knows where this puts uh, Lucy, um, uh, Suzuha or whatever her name was, I forgot her name, but the, you know, again, the girl that I've dubbed Lucy, <laughs> because that's her VA, um, but yeah, who knows where that puts her in all of this now that, um, Jesus, holy shit, this is, this is just, this show is starting to get nuts, and I am fucking so fucking engaged. I am in for every second of the greatness. This is crazy. This is so good. I don't want to stop at episode 10. I'm not going to want to stop at episode 10. This is Chaos Theory Homeostasis Part 3. All right. I see you, mate. Okay, that's that's crazy. All right. Um, but yeah, this is just this is just fucking mental. I'm fucking just I'm done right now. This is so crazy. So much insanity is going on and I am just so into all of it. This is just so good. I can't stress enough how amazing this has been. And I will continue to stress it as we jump into episode 10 of Steins Gate Chaos Theory Homeostasis Part 3 in 3, 2, 1, and play.
Yep. What in the... Yep. All traces of Moe culture have vanished from the streets of Akihabara? Yeah! So that too! Holy shit, I didn't even like... I didn't even say anything about that. Where are Mandarake and gamers? No, you're just being silly. You know we don't have any of those around here. That's why I gotta go all the way to Nakano for my dojin. Wait a sec. You still work part-time at Queen Maze, don't you? Huh? What's a Queen Maze? Our favorite maid cafe! Holy shit, the maid cafe's gone! Oh my oh, god! It's quite alright, actually. Moe culture thrives here mostly because of my influence, so it's a compliment. Did she send a D-mail back in time to undo that? An entire city. Rewritten by a mere text message. Holy shit. I did not even realize... Chaos Theory Homeostasis one more time. I did not even fucking realize I did not even process that Akihabara was not fucking Akihabara anymore. I, I didn't even process that. I didn't even, it didn't even register when I was looking. I was just fucked at the fact that they didn't live there. I, the fact that, oh my God, they act, oh my God, holy shit. Now we're getting into some massive changes. Holy shit. Because I mean, for those of you who don't know, Akihabara is a part of Japan, basically fucking anime, mo like I said, moe fucking anime gaming fucking paradise, basically. And it's a specific part. It's a specific little area. And that's just, that's like the center of all that stuff. Um, and it's just not like that anymore, which is insane. That's fucking nuts. I don't even know what to say to any of that. That's, that's bonkers. Oh my god. Let's fucking go. Chaos Theory homeostasis one more time. This is nuts. Oh my god. This is insane. There she is. There's that again. Hard to believe May Queen Yan Yan is no more. May Queen's a type of potato, dude. Not feeling it as the name of a maid cafe. What are you, some tuber savant? Wait, if Queen May's never existed, then how did we first meet Ferris? You can mock my random bits of trivia all you want, but we wouldn't be friends with Ferris right now if it weren't for the spuds. Dare I even ask? How'd you forget? I was gonna kick some ass in the Rynet tourney in Ikebukuro, but some bad potato ramen was all, no, not yours, and I had to skip it. Go on. So you and Mayuri filled in for me against Ferris. Got both of your asses kicked in case you forgot that. But the girls have been friends huh, ever since, so three times. Hell, a little food poisoning was worth the scenery. <laughs> Wow, the scenery. Check it out, Ruka. It's a photo book full and we of did professional still cosplay meet. I bought in Nakano. Oh, wow. They're so adorable. So even though we the past is like substantially altered, day. our relationships are essentially the same. That's interesting, yeah, too. Like, the well, past has found a way to be a schematics the way you do over cosplay. Oh, afternoon, Okabe. It's super cute, don't you think? Hey, Whoa. that's the purple hair. Sedona. Sedona, <laughs> huh? That's what we saw at the end of last episode. I wish I could wear that, but I'm so not curvy enough to pull it off. Well. Don't you worry. Small boobies will have their day. <coughs> hey, we should all take a field wow. trip to the beach some weekend. Wow. You gotta come, Kurisu. School swimsuits for the win. I don't know. Us in the perv brigade? <laughs> Us in the perv brigade. <laughs> hey, I'm not saying we can't go. If we make it a girls only trip, then I'm totally down for some beachside fun in the sun. <laughs> Abandon the charade, Christina. In truth, you don't want us along because we might see the unfortunate birthmark marring your hindquarters. Wait, what? What? I don't have a birthmark. Besides, if this outing to the beach were really girls only, that would leave poor Rukako high and dry. Huh? How so? As I pointed out to you the other day, Ruka is, shall we say, of the masculine persuasion. Huh. What? Uh, what? Oh, shit. Huh? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Did it actually change? He never did get to say the hell is wrong with you? Calling her a boy is a pretty shitty thing to do. It makes me sad when you say mean stuff like oh. that. Oh. Dude, not cool. <laughs> it, it, uh. Wait, why are you crying? Oh, honestly. You troglodyte. Apologize to troglodyte. right now. Oh why my god, I apologize I'm for that for moral Ronaldo. What the no, it's fuck? Fine. You shouldn't have to apologize. If that's the way that you think of me, so be it. Well, Whoa. naturally it is. What else am I supposed to think? You jackass! I should go. I'm sorry. No, you don't. Uh, it's gone on long enough. 
If Luca's really the girl you say she is, then why does she have a... Oh! Oh! Uh, what the hell? No, stop. Please. Oh. Luca, Mary. She is a girl! Oh, my God. God. You're a female? That's what we've been saying this whole damn time! Yeah, you deserve that out of context. Wow. You look thrashed. Everything okay? Just a little torture. Nothing to do with <laughs> Just her a little torture. Tricks. I bet it was that uh, Maki say chick. Yeah, but I got it all cleared up. I think. What did she do to your legs? Uh, uh, sweet heavens, no! Don't touch them. She compelled me to sit stock still on my haunches for a full hour. Lesser men would have broken, but not me. <laughs> wow. I don't know. Wow. It seems what the pretty hell? Pretty darn low on the torturometer. Yeah, it does. So. You sound alarmingly like a woman who knows what she's talking about. Yeah. Let's just say that I've done my time. Oh, dear God. What is wrong with you, Lucy? Suzuha, I think it's Suzuha. This is absolutely perfect weather to go biking. I suppose. Yeah, you really love biking. Hey, you feel like going for a ride? Oh. I still can't fully figure her out, other than the fact that she's probably a soldier from the future. That you had a second bike. So, I didn't come to Tokyo to work in a TV shop. No, you didn't. I'm looking for my dad. Why is that? Is your dad you Peter? Something? It's been years. I don't even remember what he looks like. He's somewhere in the city, but that's all I really have to go on. It's not much of a smoking gun. Maybe not. But I have an old pin of his. Is that military? About dropping the part-time job and focusing all on this. Look, I can't tell you why exactly. Yeah, I know you can't. I'm only gonna have one last chance to see him. Oh, is he about to die? Short version? I think my dad's gonna be somewhere tomorrow. But if I show up and he doesn't, that's it. I gotta move on either way. Whoa. There's a place I gotta be getting to pretty soon. Whoa. Because, you know, I'm a busy girl. Whoa. Hell, if I don't find him in Tokyo. I might as well quit looking. I just got the weirdest idea. For some reason, why is it that my mind immediately thinks that I don't know if she I don't think she knows it, but that her father is Okabe. I don't know. I know that sounds fucking nuts, but I'm thinking about it and I'm like, if she's from the future, like, and I don't know if that would mean Okabe and Makise or Okabe and Mayuri. I don't know what that would mean, but I don't know. I just got the weirdest idea that there's something she's because she's been really weird, but oh man, I don't know. I'm probably going crazy, but it's like I kept thinking John Teeter, but then part of me, no, okay, I don't know. Because John Teeter is probably not in Tokyo. That doesn't, that wouldn't necessarily be the, I don't think John Teeter is, oh. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going full conspiracy with the show. And I find I can relate. However, <laughs> you just made the serendipitous error of disclosing your tale of paternal woe to a mad scientist. <laughs> wow. Henceforth, you are lab member 008. Wait, what? Resign yourself to being our newest guinea pig. What are you going to do to me? Alter your past, of course. It's all part of my master plan. Helping you is just a side effect. You will send a D-mail to your father, understood? In it, you will tell him not to leave, and presto! Home he shall remain. <laughs> You're a nice guy, you know that? What? Despite what you want to say. I feel a little bit better about this than I did earlier. Hmm. Huh. Guess I should get back to work. Thanks for being a pal, Okabe. Huh. Hey, listen, I want you to promise me you'll come to the lab tomorrow whether you meet your father or not. If he's not there, we'll help you. For science, of course. <laughs> For all your world dog talk, you're just a big old softy. For real. That is the <laughs> truest thing that's ever been said in Stein's Gate. That is so fucking true. All right. All right. I will now summarize the basics of Operation Eldrimir in layman's terms. What's with the Norse mythology? If Suzuha locates her father, we'll have a Suzuha. farewell banquet. We'll have dinner if she doesn't find her father as well. 
but we'll present it as a kind of consolation send-off. If so, the D-mail will be dessert. Uh-oh. Who's gonna tell Daru the plan? He's off meeting his online friends or some such nonsense. But never fear, I've well, got his number. This is how you hook a Daru. I took the liberty of sending him a little white lie. Wait, are you bribing him with wow. food or Ferris? Either way, that'll probably work. Yeah, it's huh? a double, double but down. But Ferris told me she couldn't be here tonight. Which I'm willing to look beyond since she's never actually met Suzaha, but our resident hacks attendance is decidedly mandatory. Um, actually, I've never met her either. Is it okay that I'm coming? But of course. You ladies can do the shopping for our little soiree. While you... While I tail the scrappy part-timer to see if her errant parent pops up. Oh, come on. Yeah. Don't go spying on their father-daughter bonding time. Yeah, Ocarine. Why don't you just come on our shopping trip with us? Following Susan It's not is gonna my... happen, so drop it. Where does my assistant get off telling me what to do? I really want to see what happens. Early, oh. Right? oh. How about three hours? All right. Shopping it is. So shall we be off? <laughs> Whoa! I'm watching you! Is something the matter, Ocarine? It's nothing. What? What the fuck? Je red jello? What in the... It's gelatin, though, but red. So, I mean, I'm thinking time travel, but those were all green. What the fuck? It looked like gelatin. I don't know what else that could have been. Do like, you think blood we should gelatin? go with the Oh, but hot is so good. Which do you think she'll like? Is he gonna see red gelatin yeah, since we're in the food? Let's go with the hot one. Hmm, good idea. Cause Zuzu has a pretty spicy girl. That's I true. I bet you she can't even taste the mild stuff. Okie dokie, next stop, the meat aisle. Good old cameras. Wow, look at these prices. They're sure proud of their stuff. Yeah. Hey, Ocarine. Yeah. You've been so quiet all night. Yeah. I keep waiting for you to say something like, Looks like the organization's been messing around I with the know, price right? of local meat. Launching Operation Half-Off Sales Event. Or something wow. like that. Wow. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Operation Half-Off Sales Event lacks in Nordic flair. <laughs> of course it does. They've sabotaged the beef supply. Operation Audumbla is still viable, albeit at a greater cost. Good lord. Unlock additional culinary funding on the double. Huh? Look! First star of the night! Oh. Interesting. Oh, that's Venus, actually. Oh. Hey, Ocarine? Hmm? Oh, you're good. Remember back when we were little kids? Oh. And you had that really bad fever? Oh. Yeah. Right when everyone was losing their head over the whole Y2K thing. Ah. I was scared. You look so sick and frail. I thought you were so going to fade ago. away. I didn't want you to die. So I looked up at the stars and said a prayer. And right then, one went shooting past right above me. Hmm. So, as it went, I said, Don't take my ocarine. I said it three times in a row. And the very next morning, your fever had broken and you said you were feeling better. Aww. I don't mean to brag, but I kind of saved your life, you know? <laughs> Aww. She's so adorable. Sorry, but you didn't. My surviving that fever was the decision of Steinsgate. Yeah? Hmm. Aww, that's no fun. I'm afraid so. Okay. Hey, remember when you first got sick, how you fell down? Remember what you said? You said you were dizzy and that the world felt all wiggly. Like you've been zapped by lightning, you told me. What? Like things didn't make sense anymore. What the fuck is this you girl? Ferris's? You! Your face reminded me of then. What? I'm sick in bed with that fever. Wait. I'd forgotten how that felt. What? It's the same way I feel when I shift world lines. No way. I wonder. Is that is possible? The illness, the emergence of my reading Steiner ability. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Hey. <laughs> hey, you two. Huh? What is that? I oh. wonder if it's possible that they like somehow, some way, like I don't know who CERN maybe I don't know, but they infected like random people, and then like he just so happened with like this thing that theoretically would give them that ability and Okabe was the only one that survived? I don't know how that sounds. That was absolutely stupid. I'm sorry. This show's ma making me lose my mind. I haven't I haven't been thinking this hard with a series in a long time. So I, my mind is going 
100 miles an hour thinking about all kinds of crazy theories, some of which I don't think are that crazy. Some of the stuff I've said, a lot of the stuff I said I think makes sense, but some of the stuff I'm saying is completely ridiculous. That was stupid. They're assailing my nose. Oh, that? Kurisu decided to make an apple pie for us. Oh, that stench is dessert? I'd love to help. You have a job for me? Sure. Why don't you boil some eggs for me? Okay. Let's see. Ooh, I'll just pop them in the phone wave. Uh... No, Mayuri, don't! They'll explode in there! I can take care of it. Yes. Aww. Yes. You can chop up Leave it to the, uh, stench. girl. Yay. Wait a second. What manner of stingy and dessert are you trying to foist upon us? They're for the salad, genius. I defy you to find me a single world line in which egg and mushroom salad goes chop, with apple pie. Chop, chop, I'm calling a moratorium that is pretty of the chop, random. chop, chop. Out of the way. Chop, moratorium of the oh. chop, chop, chop. Woe betide me. All the women have turned into evil kitchen ghouls. <laughs> evil call kitchen you back ghouls. In an hour's time. Please tell my parents that I love them. Wow. Until the bitter. Wow! What a Is there a rice cooker in here? Here's Johnny. I like that she's wow. Here's Johnny. Make it to our dinner tonight. Looks like someone pulled a fast one on you. Guess who? What? Son of a man! You suck. Yep. You know, truth is a very subjective phenomenon. Oh Jesus that Christ! Let's get my time travel meetup for this. Time travel meetup. Don't judge. It's just a bunch of posters from a sci-fi forum I moderate sometimes. We had a writer coming as a guest tonight, too. This little kid is so cute. What are you keeping here? Uh, I wouldn't see. go touching that, How Ruka. It's future open? gadget numero four, Mode Snake. Is that a claymore? No, no, it's merely a mock-up. In actuality, it's a humidifier. Aha, here we go. Uh, no, don't pull that. <laughs> wow. I wish it was a claymore, and then you'd all be dead. So sorry, you guys. Nice butt. What's well, done is done. Just watch what you touch from now on, all right? As hey, far as girls go, the fact that she was a boy in a previous world line makes her still pretty hot. A vacuum? Hot. Yeah, good thinking. Guess again. It's future gadget number three. Or is it the second one? Number five. A.K.A. I've connected yet another trifling thing a la Goema. A.K.A. a hair dryer that uses the heat output of a vacuum cleaner. Nice. Here, give me. Hold on. You have to unplug everything else before you use it, otherwise the... Uh -oh. Breaker will trip. Yeah. Anybody know where the flashlight is? Um, is this it? Uh, no. Okay. I don't know what that sound is. Okay, that's outside. All right, I just wanted to make sure I was hearing that sound and I was like, what the hell? That's a cucumber. <laughs> so, of course, cucumber. You're just gonna trip out wow. of your mind that I give you credit for. Oh, savage. Good lord. Just oh. Didn't even get it. It's by the front door. Thank God, cool. you're, you're a snowflake, my Yuri. You okay? <laughs> So funny. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's just... Huh? I thought of the lab I work at back in America. It's top-notch, you know? We're talking wall-to-wall -wall geniuses. Yep. But they're all so... cold. Yep. Scientifically, it blows this place out of the water, but... I feel at home here. Aww. Hey. Don't go thinking that was a compliment or anything. It was. I was just comparing and contrasting the labs. That's all. Yep. I made this place because I couldn't invent friends. <laughs> Whoa. That's deep? Holy shit! It worked. Aww. I mean, I'm still here, aren't I? Aww. Oh, fuck! You know, earlier... This is hot. When you said you cherished my hot, I mean, friendship, adorable. it... Well, meant something. It made me happy. Aww. Like, a lot. Aww. Wow. This is actually more of a shit moment than I was expecting. Did you fall on your head? <laughs> yeah! Wait, yeah. what? I try to say something nice and that's your reply? You're such a bastard. Whoa. Uh. Oh! Oh! Oh, that was adorable! <laughs> oh, the ship is so real. I love it. Suzuha sure is late, huh? I hope that means she found her dad. Yeah. Sure, I bet they're catching up on father-daughter stuff and they lost track of time. 
I made it very clear she was to report to the lab either way. But I guess my instructions were all for nothing. Mm. She isn't coming. Let's call it a night. Did she find him? Is she gone now? Man, I really wonder who she was looking for. Goodbye. From part-time work. Why was there a random... Why did that say, damn her? It said, why that little... So she's just gonna slink off that was into so the night, weird. fatherless and alone? Not on my watch. Oh, Inkyoma cannot abide this. Damn it! Where could she be? Of course. I'll send a email instructing myself to tail Suzanne this afternoon at all costs. Oh. But after everything that's transpired. This time you'll only be moving back the a, past any further? a small, a You're small. You're a nice guy, you know that? Oh. Either way, I feel a little bit better about this than I did earlier. I'm no thumb twiddling milk toast trembling in his lab coat. I am Ho in Kyoma. Ho in Kyoma. This with nary a fear. Yeah, you're 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 bullshitting yourself so hard, May. You are terrified of this. That actually sounded the slightest bit crazy, legitimately, probably for the first time. I thought the episode was gonna end, I guess not. Tails, Susa. Whoa. What's gonna happen? Okay. What's up? It's good to see you're so hard at work. Late night, huh? <laughs> no mm. kidding. That party really took on a life of its own. I'm running on fumes today. Party? Humor me, if you would. We threw a consolation dinner for you last night, one at which you served as our test subject. Did we not? Yeah, but we never got around to the guinea pig part, because I don't have my dad's contact info. Huh. There's a detail I'm kind of fuzzy on. Refresh my memory as to how you ended up at the lab last night. Huh? What were you drinking? Sounds like somebody needs to <laughs> yeah, lay no. off the sauce. Please, just oh, Lay off the sauce, man. She yeah, sounds like okay. me. I was just leaving the time travel forum meetup when you <sighs> time travel forum meetup. When you told me your father might show up somewhere, is that what you meant? Yep. On the message boards, he posts under the user ID Teeter. Wait, John Wait, Teeter? Wait, what? Nah, -uh, sorry, Barrel. It's Barrel Teeter. I told you at the party, remember? You recorded me saying it and everything. Oh man, last night was so much fun. Of course, it would have been better without you know who. That pie of hers almost made it a farewell party for everyone. Yeah, the pie was terrible, eh? Ruka's curry, though? Now that was some tasty stuff. Good. I really do dig your lab. Seriously cool. You it all is. get along and you're always having fun. What is First something's about life, to happen? I felt like it really fit in. Holy well, shit. Like. Holy shit! <laughs> It, it, was it Daru? I just realized, holy shit. Okay, I'm going crazy because this is nuts, but look at Daru's hair and then look at Suzuha's hair. Look at the color and look at the way it's kind of, oh dear God, oh my God, holy shit. Holy shit! Am I going nuts again? I was talking about Okabe, but... She kinda looks like Daru. Oh my god. Is she... Is there any chance that... Daru's part of the forum. Nuts. Is Daru... Her father? Okay, that's insane, but I actually think there's legitimacy to this theory -o. The hair color's there, and the way the hair's kind of 
Oh, that's interesting. I'm probably going crazy, but we know that Daru went to that. Think about it. Think about it. Dude! Dude! It, Daru! It, it is Daru! Because think about it. Okabe convinced Daru not to go. But in this world, Daru probably went. Which means... She saw that was the variable that changed. Holy shit. Daru. Daru is Suzuha's father. I, I'm fucking saying it. I, I'm fucking going all in on this. This is real. Coming up whenever you feel like it. Oh my god. Holy Surely shit. Surely I even remind you. You are a member of the lab now. Yeah. Maybe I'll stick around. Look for dear old dad a little bit more. <sighs> He's right there, though. He's right there. I Maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. I, I'm just going to assume I'm wrong because, like, what are the odds I'm actually right about something that fucking mental? But, like, honestly, I feel right. Like, I know that's, I know that, like, is insane, but, like, that's what changed. I don't know what that means. I don't know what this leads to. I don't understand the purpose of this. I really, like, I don't know where this puts us. But, nevertheless, I honestly think that Daru is Suzuha's father. And I don't, I don't know what that means for the story overall, for the whole series. But if Suzuha just disappears at some point, then, like, oh, man... Holy shit. Okay, I'm probably so wrong. I can't stress enough how bad, how hard I, I want to tell you guys that I know I'm probably wrong. And I'm, you guys are going to look back. You guys are probably fucking laughing at me. But it's the hair. It's the hair that made me think it at first. And then I thought about it. And I was like, oh my god, that actually makes sense. Because like I said, it's obvious she has to be. It's clear that she's from the future. She's obviously from the future. She's obviously from the future. And if she's from the future, then it, it would be, it makes sense that it would be someone that's still pretty young that hasn't even had a kid yet, given that she's not that old. So, you know, and if we assume that she's from 2036, just assuming that, because that's Teeter's year, I believe then that would be 26 years in the future. And it has to be far enough in the future where she was existing in the shitty world ruled by CERN. So if we assume that she's 20, that she's, she's come 26 years in the past from the year 2036 to 2010, then that would mean, and she's like, say, I don't know, 17, let's say she's 17 years old. Then that would mean that she isn't born until the year 2019. So she's born nine years from now. So the timeline fits for any of the male characters that are currently around to be her father. And as it happens, one of them has very similar looking hair in both color and kind of the way it acts. Oh my God. If that, and, and, and it just, it, 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 she went, I don't know. I, I really am. I'm curious if, if Okabe has made the connection, because even if this isn't true, I would be really upset if the connection is never made because I feel like that's the logical connection to make. Oh man, I don't know. Oh, I'm torn. I want to watch more. I legitimately like want to watch more episodes, but I don't want to, like, I feel like that was a decent cutoff point. I don't know. Oh man, I don't know. Um... I don't know. Oh, do I keep going? Oh, do I keep going or not? I'm debating on whether I do another two more, but oh. Oh, I want to, I want to so bad. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop here. I want to watch more. So badly. You guys have no idea how invested I am in this show. God. I want to watch more so badly, but this was a good enough stopping point. I think I'm going to stop here. And 
Oh my God, Steins Gate, holy shit. I'm almost halfway done. If I do two more, I'll be halfway done because I mean there's 24, 25 episodes really and I would have done 12. That That's not right. This show needs to be longer. Ugh. Oh, well, I will be getting more in some context, though, because we got zeros coming up pretty soon. But, um, holy shit. Dear fucking God, I don't know what to say, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is a fucking roller coaster. This is just insane in all the right ways. This is the most fun I've had and oh my god, I don't even know. It's not even fun, it's just amazing. It's an experience. I feel like I am truly in an experience right now. You know what? We're doing two more. I, I have to. It's that good. It's that fucking good. I want to do two more. I'm gonna do two more. Hey guys, Steins Gate, episode 11. Oh my God, I, I can't do it, I can't do it. This is, this is, I've not, we're not even halfway through and this show is like fucking knocking on all the doors. This show's knocking on the Full Metal Alchemist door. This show's knocking on the Code Geass door. At this rate, the unchallengeable show, the show that even Code Geass, I mean, Code Geass, I guess, challenged it a little bit, and so did Full Metal, but really, after a while, I, I realized, no, dude, I think Evangelion, Neon Genesis Evangelion, my favorite show of all time, at this rate, might have competition. That's how good this is starting to get, and... I don't know. I am just fucking obsessed with this show already. Like, I can't stress enough. Like, I'm going to finish this show so fucking fast. Oh, my God. Everyone's going to be so mad at me because I'm doing a six-episode reaction. I can't promise that my next two commentaries aren't going to be six and seven. Like, that's how fucking invested I am in this show. Like, I... I could I could not bring myself to stop at 10. I'm running out of time. I'm going to have I'm going to get fucking cliffhanged in the middle of this and it's going to fucking suck. I'm not going to know what to do with the fucking video. That's the type of risk I'm taking right now because of how obsessed I am with Steins Gate. Holy shit. I might just go into my fucking bedroom and literally just watch this being nearly silent ju and just giving you my facial expressions of my mind being blown 12,000 times because that's how fucking crazily obsessed I am with the show at this point. It's like, I can't even, oh my God. I can't do this. I can't do this. Let's just, episode 11, uh, what's it called? Uh, Dogma in Event Horizon. Oh boy, Event Horizon. Event Horizon in the title. Oh joy. I actually don't know what dogma means. I've heard the term before, but I don't actually know what that means. You know what? Fuck it. This show's worth it. I'm. I am looking up the word dogma. That's how fucking crazy I am right now. Dogma, dogma, dogma. What do you mean, dogma? Um. A principle or sense of principles laid down by an authority is incontrovertibly true. Interesting. Okay. Dogma in Event Horizon. So this is something that's incontrovertibly true regarding Event Horizon. I don't know. We, oh, God. We might be playing black holes. We might be playing with black holes now. Oh, dear God. Here we go. Uh, Steins Gate, episode 11, 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go again. I forgot again. Oh, dear God. That's getting annoying. Oh, man. All the fucking delays. Oh, the universe doesn't want me to do this. Okay, here we go. For real this time. Steins Gate, episode 11. Three, two, one, go. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to distract your boss for five seconds so he doesn't notice the pandemonium going on upstairs. I'll lay on the woman charm, and if that doesn't work, I'll bust out the guns. Nice. Those will do. <laughs> nice. Is on it. 
you're starting with the charm, right? I thought you know? she was 007. Well, Who's 007 if she's 008? Yeah. Hell. What the hell? What the fuck? Bob! Yeah. What? We're clear. Begin the experiment. What the hell? <laughs> Best try you got. Jesus Christ. Why did it stop? They must have heard him. Unless... It's the TV! That's the, uh, the lifter, right? Is that what they call it? Lifter? Are you telling me? I'm telling you. Hmm? For the last time! Oh, Jesus! He actually killed him! Dogma and Event Horizon, I already talked about that. Interesting title. All the titles Wait, are pretty interesting. So let me get this straight. The 42-inch TV down there has been acting as the lifter all this time, and only D-mail sent yeah. out while it was on during business hours actually made it back? And that explains the time discrepancy. You know, that explains a lot. Try to connect the dots more quietly, would you? Your poor head. It was brains against brawn. And brawn always wins. I can't believe he actually hit me. Yeah, that's I'm a first. I'm kind of surprised it took him this long. You I know, that is true. That's kind of my surprise. Forget. Is that... At any rate, you found a big piece in the phone wave functionality puzzle. Yeah, that does explain a lot. In other words, it's time we try to send someone into the past physically. Nope. You know, you could at least pretend to consider it. You can't compress a human being down to 36 bytes. You do remember certain subjects turning into pudding, bites. don't you? She figured something out. She just had a breakthrough. Nobody likes a braggart. Bragging to you? That's rich. Look at the title. <laughs> An analysis of neural pulse signals in relation to memories stored in the temporal lobe. If that's just the title, I'm scared. <laughs> Basically, know, right? it's all about the wiring of our memories. The science of the brain is kind of my thing. That's true. Uh, long story short, the brain stores our memories in the form of electrical impulses. It's just data like any other. Yeah. Just data? Are you saying... I am. Physically sending a human being back in time is out of the question. But, but maybe sending we can their find memories. a way to send their memories back as a workaround. Into their phone? No, that's the thing we need to figure out. We'd have to convert their memories into data and send it like a D-mail. But instead of a phone, it goes into their past self's head. And you become your earlier you. Whoa. It's more like consciousness hopping than time travel. Whoa. It's me. Time. This is the culmination of all our research. This is the master that's plan. That's brilliant. Is great unveiling. That's actually, I didn't even, Named for I didn't even think of that. Lore. Begin Operation Verdandi. Say Verdandi? What? Terrific. What harebrained scheme do you have for us now? <sighs> We're going to field test the process you just delineated to us. Try to stay on task. It's not as wow. easy as that. I'm going to need to find all sorts of supplemental equipment. That said, we are in Akihabara, so it shouldn't be too big of a hassle to locate most of the instruments. And if we're only reading the temporal lobe... I mean... What's the problem? Well, it's just that the phone wave probably can't compress all that data without a bunch of add-ons. That's all. Hmm. And... And what? Nothing. The possible side effects? All right. Here are all the parts I'll need. Interesting. So, Akase's that figuring this out. Let me see if I can simplify Christina's version for you. We can graft your current mind onto the mind of your former self. Hmm. Sounds kind of scary to me. Maybe we should just stick with the D mail instead. This is well, awesome. Unfortunately, with D mail, there are too many variables at play. Yeah, that One is true. message can lead to any number of unforeseen changes. Whereas memories doesn't. But how is memories is more controlled. Better? Knowing the future they come from, hopefully a person wouldn't choose to alter too much. Yeah, that if makes sense. That's a lot safer. Akihabara, as long example, as the right people know. Uh, nothing. Never mind. Yeah. Um, what happens to this you after your memories get sent back? Cause your body's still here. Is your head all empty or what? That's a good question. We haven't figured we'll have to try it. You know how we're having this conversation right now, Ogreen? Yeah. Okay, so 
Pretend that my brain goes back in time a whole week and they do yeah. the week over. What happens if we don't have this conversation the second time around? In that case, I assume you'd remember this talk, but not I. Because yep. for me, the whole yep. thing never would have taken yep. place. So, I'd remember it just fine, but for you, it wouldn't exist at all. Yes. That's how it works? Yes. I think so. If That's that crazy. If that happened, I think that I would cry. Wow. For me? Mm-mm. For me. For me, silly. She's... Oh, look! It's Moika! <laughs> okay, Moika. Um, she's not on screen yet, but I actually want to say something. That's actually... It's funny. In a roundabout sort of way, Maori is wiser than any other character in this series. I mean, it, despite her incredible innocence and, like, sauce in that regard, in a way, she understands life and it's and 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 like the preciousness of a conversation with someone you love and all that sauce more than any other character in the series, and really more than almost any other character I've ever seen in fiction, which is something. And uh, and and that's the kind of funny thing is, all of the main characters of this series are like incredible in their own ways. Daru being a hilarious pervert. Um, Okabe being one of the best characters I've ever seen in so many ways. Mayuri, in her own ways, being one of the best characters I've ever seen. And even uh, Makase, in her own ways, being one of the best characters I've ever seen. Like, all of the main players in the show have qualities that make them just absolutely brilliant. And, and some of the most uh, amazing examples of the characters that they are trying to portray. And it's just... It's insane. Um, I absolutely love it, and uh, I just wanted to give my Yuri some props for being the best fucking girl. Even though, like, she is, even though I, even though Makase is my favorite female character in the show, my Yuri is best girl. Just saying. She's looking right at you. Shining finger. You look even more serious than usual. <laughs> Did you drop the time travel thing? No, we're still doing it. And guess what? Now we can do a time leap with someone's memories. Don't just blurt it out. Aww, but Moeka's a lab member. She's 005. <sighs> yeah, but still. Huh? What do you think it is? <laughs> As the name clearly implies, one's memories go leaping back in time. Memories? Uh, Moika? Interesting. Wait! Where are you Interesting. going? Interesting. I... She's the hardest character to read. I mean, I don't know what her deal is. I have not figured her out at all. I don't... I guess checking Akiba oh, Moika. Good old shining finger. Hey, Mayuri! Who the hell is that? Oh, the little girl. Look, okay, I was gonna say what. I'm glad to see you too, Nai. Where'd you come from? How's it hanging? You've been walking around like that? Yeah, I know. The boss said my punishment was to wear it for the rest of the day. You look like someone off a of Street Fighter. Uh, ah! Nice. Way too all the references. For hand -hand combat. Huh? Oh, I'm just saying is all. Yeah, anyway, you know we're so well. Nai has something to tell you. Is that so? I'm sorry. My dad shouldn't have been so mean before. It's okay. You tracked me down just to tell me that? Aren't you a considerate little creature? She really is. Aw, don't be rude, Very Ori. nice girl. Thank you, Nai. But I've been a thorn in your father's side since the day I moved in. <laughs> kinda had it coming. Yeah, don't lie. Not like you to be so patient with I him. know, right? What do you mean? He's a very patient person. Sure. Well, anyway, I'll see both of you back Interesting. I wonder what you on. meant by that, my Yuri. to meet somebody? Uh-huh. My cosplay friend, Fubuki. I made Fubuki. her an outfit. Oh, yeah. Kamima is almost upon us. Yep. I can't wait. Have a good afternoon. <sighs> do 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 do, -do. <laughs> Oh, you want to head back up to the lab? No, probably better not. Christina sent me out to scavenge for parts. I wasn't going to tell you this, but she works for CERN. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Christina? A CERN mole? Whoa! 
that's hey, that's that would explain a lot. Hmm. Nightheart's been busy lately. Totally. <gasps> How long have you been standing there? <laughs> long enough to take in your dirty little secrets. Uh, Is oh, it now? I, now. I was just. My dear, you've nothing to be ashamed of. It's not like. Embrace your I... true nature, assistant. What? <laughs> Whatever. What was it? Excellent. Fan fiction? I dub thee Christina, reigning queen of the uh, hand I forums. don't need any more nicknames <laughs> from you. Just don't the tell the others, forums? please. Oh, come on. Why keep that juicy tidbit to yourself when you should be putting it on your CV? Right yes. under your publications. Tack on your best posts. <laughs> You're such a jerk. Guilty. So what yeah, was tonight's housing adventure? Double checking your AMA thread? Uh, what I the hell? that I know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Actually, this bodes rather well for you. I know it comes as a relief to me. Anyone who can't cover their internet tracks can't possibly be a spy. Ha ha. Real funny. Well, Suzaha did intimate that you were a CERN operative when I ran into her earlier, so... You know damn well I'm no such thing. That girl's just being ridiculous. Of course she is. Anyone could see you're really a spy from the organization. Wow! A change what of heart the hell? And forces what the hell? Lab you were sent to neutralize. Also wrong. Anyway, wow. I was the evolution. That's an interesting evolution. potato. Of the phone wave. You know, those parts you had me buy? Oh, yeah. That. I'll get on it. Hmm. Too late to say no. Why so hesitant now? Getting cold feet, are we? Who wouldn't? Dr. Pepper does I'm that to people. what'll happen if we actually do this. But it's more than just that. Go on. Yeah, what's as on much your as mind? I don't want to have this conversation. I guess it's kind of unfair to keep you in the dark. Not here though. I can't look at you when I say it. Whoa. That's that's kind of okay, ominous. So, things between my dad and I are kind of yeah. rough. Yeah, we Struck knew that. by lightning on the windswept belt of Arkansas, your once doting father's Here we go again with that shit. Just forget it. I don't, don't think she's from Arkansas, good. but you never know. Basically, my dad dislikes me. Yeah. No, he hates me. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Not as his child, but as a scientist, as a rival. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Well, was. Yeah. When I was little, I loved to hear him Music. talk about the intricacies of his work. By the time I was in middle school, I was understood the science <laughs> behind the talk. Yeah. That's when I started writing scientific papers and winning a bunch of awards on my own. You surpassed him. I didn't him. care about the awards. I liked that it was our thing. Yeah. We'd share papers over email, debating ideas. Yeah. But then science brought you together. The emails stopped. Suddenly, nothing. I'd been knocking down his theories, one yeah. after the next. That would explain some his mistakes. I shamed him. Emasculated wow. him. Jesus. Scientific form of emasculation anyways. He got mean to mom, to his peers. And to me. Academia kicked him to the curb. Jesus. The last time I saw him, what he said, word for word, was, I don't need your pity. How dare you look down on me? I'm your dad, you little bitch. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm your dad, you little bitch. Fuck, that's... That... I don't think he can hate me any more than he already does. But if I create a time leap device, I'm sure he'll find a way. That's why you've been dragging your feet. Don't worry, though. I said I'm going to build it, and I will. Because I love to experiment. I can't not put a good hypothesis to the grindstone. Jeez. Always testing things. You're a scientist. Like father, like daughter, I guess. Yep. But you're a scientist I'm through glad. and through. Just like Okabe, whether real or not, it's a more than just a title. It's a way of life. In that case, let us begin Operation Verdandi without delay. We haven't any time to waste. The organization snaps at our very heels. Indeed. That's your reply? What other reply should one expect of Hoim Kiyoma? <laughs> I shall not rest until the world rests in my palm. Why of course. Bother? Which is why I'm going to fix this. 
Where is your father now? Huh? Oh, in Almery. Why? Almery will be expensive, but no matter. Wait, what? Pick the day, and I will free up my schedule. Whoa, what? Wait, we're gonna go see my dad? Of course we are. Wait, You're what? Undoubtedly a top-notch scientist, but my ambitions require you to be unfettered by regrets. To that end, I, Hoin Kyoma, will accompany you, you are and such a the great subject guy. with sublime subtlety so as to clear the noxious air twixt father and child. Jeez. Wait a sec. So you're telling me, just when I get used to you being an ass, you're gonna say something nice? Uh, well, only in so far as... Aww, <laughs> so, so cute! Funny. This is the best show! You know show. what the trouble is with you? Sometimes you're a good guy. <laughs> if you're done singing my praises, can we work? Yeah, yeah. And no wussing out. You're in this with me, even if I have to drag you kicking and screaming. Nice. You might have to. I doubt you'll have to. Ugh. Wow, he said the exact opposite of what I just said. How much did you buy? Are you okay, my Oh, you know her. Oh, those bags look really heavy. Where's that ogreen guy? Should have tagged along and made himself useful. No, I'm fine. Just a little bit further. Don't give wow. me that crap. I wrote Makise on here plain as day. I assumed wow. it meant Makise pudding, you know, Makise like a brand name, pudding. perhaps, or some secret oh. code as to its probiotic properties. You wow. are so full of it! Who is this really Makise is. chap, anyway? Yeah. It's me, damn it! <laughs> well, see, there's the rub. If only you deign to write Christina One day on the he's gonna say Makise. One fracas. day he will One say it. Aliases. Makise Kurisu, he will say you that name. Eat your own food! <laughs> Call you signing anything in triplicate before using the lab's forks. Oh, hey, it's me. Oh. Hey, what you got there? A, A bunch of cosplay style. materials and all my sleepover stuff. You're crashing here? Yep, so I figured I'd bring some cosplay work along. Is this okay with your parents? Did you ask first? I just told him you'd be here too, so it's fine. You're staying over to upgrade the phone wave, right? Oh, well, that was the plan, but I might have to take a rain check. It seems we've got a pudding thief running around. <laughs> oh, oh snap. Or other. I really Good can't old pudding be bothered to remember it exactly. Wow. <laughs> it's Kyoma. Hoin Kyoma. Pay Hoin attention. Kyoma. Oh, like you're such a superstar with names. At least mine is real. Maybe I shouldn't spend wow. the night. Uh, no, I don't mind sticking around. So long as pudding thief here is sleeping somewhere else. Uh, what did you say? My soul is tied to these very floorboards. We are as one. Oh jeez, well, this is I ridiculous. Have to shopping for their stupid sleepover. I love how the I completely left me as my own assistant's errand. Boy. Misunderstood the fucking <sighs> last Speaking that episode me. ten, episode nine, the ending. Oh, um, oh no, no, no! I saw pudding. Don't get too I demand cocky. two puddings. <laughs> Don't get too boy. Let's see. <sighs> what? Speak of the devil. For <laughs> assistant. I demand compensation and apology. I demand two puddings as punishment for the one you ate. And we're taking a late bus to Omori due to finances. Fair enough. Huh. Don't get too cocky. After all, you are talking to a mad scientist. You keep telling yourself that. Yeah, says the reigning king of cocky. Huh? Uh, what now? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. Come on, we gotta do this before Okabe gets back. Yeah, <laughs> cosplay, cosplay, cosplay. Oh, I wanna see it. Come on. Mayori's cute as hell and Makase's hot, so. Demands, and cute. So, double double. <laughs> Who is this person? Lures, losers, you know too much. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit! What the fuck was that? Holy shit. Oh my god, that that terrified me. That came out of nowhere. I was not expecting it. My Yuri. My Yuri. Oh my god, Yuri. we're going full anime or full monster here. What the heck? Yo. Whoa, that was, that was epic. Whoa, no one's here.
Are they gonna pop out and cosplay? Oh god. Okay, we're okay. Cosplay! <laughs> oh, even worse! You! Oh, I can't believe you! You are such an asshole! Shame on you. I could see Daru doing something like that, maybe. I know, I right? Know. Look at you. In such a hurry to ogle us, you didn't even remember to get any snacks. What is your problem, anyway? You okay? Ocarine? Oh, hey, Daru! I thought you'd gone home for the day. Uh, yeah, I called it. Sorry. I tried to log in from my home computer, but uh, the lab PC wouldn't allow it. What's the issue? Well, it's spoken for, because we're already connected to CERN. What? So we've been connected this whole time? Maybe. I don't know. I'd like to chalk it up to my badass hacking, but I really have no idea what's up with this. It's like they left the door wide open for us or something. They wanted... They did what? Oh, Hold on a sec. Oh my you god. Were... Holy shit. That's part of CERN's plan. For whatever reason, CERN knows that Makase... I'm assuming it's Makase that's the secret. Makase is the key. That's why, that's why, I bet that's why uh, Suzawa, I forgot her name. Suzawa, no. Suzahu, I forgot her name. Fuck. Lucy, that's why Lucy thinks that Makase is working for CERN. She thinks Makase is working for CERN because they're helping CERN. And Makase in particular is basically helping CERN make their dream a reality without even knowing it. She's not actually working for CERN, but she's accidentally helping them. And I think that has to do with the whole thing of Okabe knowing too much because Makase is the key to creating all this. But Okabe and all the stuff that's happening with Okabe is like this side of this thing that like wasn't really planned for and that's the very that's the thing that's like changing everything and making everything crazy and like that's who they're afraid of is okabe because he's got all this fucking knowledge and all this shit and that's oh that that actually would make a lot of sense the one who plugged us into cern then who's to say it's not them hacking into our system maybe they want to see what we've been up to all this time <laughs> uh it's possible but i covered my tracks like a boss on the upside we can use the other from here so. Them? We can do that? Them? What you looking at? Who is them? Is there a problem with your phone? Is he gonna destroy it? No. No, it's nothing. <laughs> Holy shit. This is showing you're not as much of the mad scientist as you like to make us believe because you're in over your head and you know it. Oh God. Holy shit guys, this is nuts. This is, this show is God tier. This show is, this is the, the fucking greatest show. Like this show doesn't, I mean like it's, I'm not, I'm obviously nowhere near saying it's the great, like legitimately saying it's like my favorite show ever or anything like that. But like, holy shit, this show is crazy. All right. Um, that was episode 11 of Steins Gate, Dogma and Event Horizon. Um, they're coming up with this whole time leap concept. I think they called it or the time jump or the mind consciousness jump or whatever they want to call it. And it's really interesting, and I was really digging all of that, and I thought it, and, and that's a really interesting idea, and they haven't did it yet. Uh, maybe they'll do it in episode 12, we'll see. But just so much stuff, and there's someone who is texting Okabe and saying, like, you know too much, we're watching you, and sending him creepy-ass pictures, and we have no idea what's up with that. And CERN, apparently, like, and CERN is possibly... I feel like my theory right now in regards to CERN is that they planned this and they're like they they've hit the brick wall and somehow some way maybe even via time travel. I wonder if someone used time travel to come to the from the future to the present for us or the past or whatever and told CERN 
that this is who's gonna figure this out and this is what we need to do to figure out like time travel and we're gonna use them in order to achieve our goals or something like that as insane as that sounds that kind of feels like on the way of what we're doing i don't know like there's so much craziness going on but it seems like cern is just fucking insane and like i don't know there's just so much craziness going on here and it's so good and it's so interesting and i'm so into it and i cannot wait to see what happens with um with the rest of this sauce and where we go from here because this is just so exciting and so interesting and so fucking good and i'm so into it and i cannot wait to see where we go from here and we have one more episode in this video we have episode 12 of Steins Gate and you know I can't wait any longer I need to see episode 12 and see what the hell is gonna happen so let's do Steins Gate episode 12 in three two one and play oh my god this is insane what's what the hell you're on earth what seven million years ago give or take whoa Mayuri that does sound like my Yuri. You were brought here by a time machine, though you probably won't remember that yet. Whoa. I don't understand. It's crazy, you know? I've chased after you through so many mixed up world lines that I don't what? Even remember how far back it was I lost count. Oh god. Please, I... Of course, the you I followed here is just one of a whole bunch of different versions. You're the original, though. That much I know. Whoa. The Mayuri that found you is just one of a bunch of versions, too. But I'm sure I'm the original version of me. I learned that the hard way. The what? important thing is, I have a feeling we're both going to die here. What? The good news is, the stuff that makes us who we are will pass down to the versions of us. Okay, is this episode 12? This is episode 12! What the fuck is... This is... This is important information. I'm gonna go back 10 seconds. I have a feeling we're both going to die here. This is insane. The good news is, the stuff that makes us who we are will pass down to the versions of us 70 million years from now. So, it's okay. Dogma in Ergosphere. What an intro! Did you just get that data, or...? Curry Sue's mostly the, finished okay, setting everything up, and she says you should come take a look. Even awesomer, though, my cosplay is almost done. Huh? Nice. <laughs> Earth to Ocarine? I keep showing that. The clock, the time, the date, everything. Hey, hold this a second for me, will you? Like that, yeah. There's the this? hourglass. Yep, yep. Nice and stretched out. Try to think like you're a clothesline. <laughs> oh, what a pretty ribbon. I know, right? <gasps> you should totally try this on. It's okay. I have other outfits I can compete in. It is kind of cute. Got the cosplay bug. Uh, please, Ooh, don't even go there. Indeed. Like I'd ever traipse around in public wearing... Man, Ocarine or Okabe has Finish. really changed his shit. He's... Yay! That is My awesome. Yoshi takes all the gold. Cute. I beat you. <laughs> this was a race. Oh dear, you cleaned our clock, huh? But we're not far behind. What? Matter of fact, we're done. We've got our leaper, folks. <laughs> That's the leaper, huh? Oh wow! Definitely looks like, looks a gaming like something system. an evil genius's bunker would have in the armory, huh? I know, right? Mm. So it works kind of like the phone wave, except it comes with a headset? It may not be a masterpiece of design, but this puppy is able to transport a person's memory to any point in the past, particularly now that we've got access to the LHC. And what does the LHC have to do? The Large Hadron well, Collider. to put it simply, Holy it's shit. acting as a... So... So CERN just gave him full access. I didn't even realize that that's what they meant. So CERN just gave... Future Gadget Labs, whether they somehow, you know, gave, just gave them full access to CERN, which means that they can use all of CERN's tech. Even from all the way over in Japan, they can use the Large Hadron Collider for their shit. As now they get into more advanced, they need more tech. Oh. That is so ridiculously suspicious. I don't even know what to say to that. 
CERN, what are you doing? Oh, you're playing them for fools. Oh, how are we going to... Oh, man. It's clear that they they don't, that they can't, for whatever reason, CERN can't quite figure it out and they need Makase to figure it out. And, oh, and that's part of this whole thing of Makase being a CERN agent. I hope she's not actually, but... Like, that would be insane if she actually was, because I think I figured it out. I think I, like I said, I already explained what I think's going on with all that, but man, there's so much going on. Oh my God, let's continue. LHC. I went back about five and what seconds. does the LHC have to do with it? Well, to put it simply, it's acting as a compressor. Yeah. See, our machine more or less reads the neural patterns that comprise one's memory and converts them into terabytes. Yeah. 3.24 terabytes to be exact. That's a lot of shit. The phone can only move 36 bytes of data at a time. So terabytes are totally out of bounds. With yeah. the LHC, however, we can generate a black hole that'll defrag the neural data to a size the phone wave can manage. Basically, once sense. the data is compressed, we can send it just like we would a D-mail. That makes sense. Black holes. So it's like putting your old quilt into a vacuum bag before shoving it into the closet? Well, not exactly, but close enough, I guess. You've got the basic idea. Anyway, we send it to your phone in the past like we do with D-mail. It goes through then gets unraveled by the broad spectrum signal. And the neural yep. patterns comprising your present state of memory are overlaid onto the neural pattern unique to your past self. We yep. can only send data back in 48 hour increments though. Push that window any further and the copy signal will find nothing to match up with in your past brain. The developmental gap between the two versions of yourself will be too great. So it's only 48 hours that they can do. Issue. What? Unlike our D-mail experiments, this isn't something we can run without a test subject, specifically a human being. Believe me, I really wish that weren't the case, but it's the only surefire way to verify memory transference. Proxies just aren't enough. Wait, so you're saying one of us has to volunteer to be the first chimpanzee in space? Yeah, not it. Okabe, give me your opinion on all of this. I want to know what you think about it, not Hoween. Oh, that's steep. Daru. Yo, yo. Am I to understand that we've yet to puzzle out how we're connected to CERN? Uh, hmm? But we can be reasonably sure they haven't sniffed out our trail. I'm inclined to Somehow agree with Daru's assessment. Somehow they figured it out. If they were wise to us, we'd have seen some indication of it by now. Mm, I think you're wise. <laughs> Come on, tell them. If we've really found a way to conquer time, I have to know. Uh, um, maybe we could send a Jelnana back to the past to see if it changes into how it was when I bought it. Sweetie, think oh. about what you're asking, okay? Bananas don't have memories. And ours aren't worth risking. <laughs> wow. Holy I shit, Okabe. It's fair to say we're out of our depth here. I vote we go public with our findings and let someone else sort out the ethics. Um, I Holy second Holy shit. If that's what everyone wants, that's what we'll go with. That's what I want! I second it too! Real? Really? Can I call this a massive plot twist? I don't know where they're going. I have no idea where they're going with this. They're actually going public with this. What does this mean though for the long... Let's continue. And are they actually gonna go public? Do we know what kind of pizza Hashida ordered? No idea. Well, it's not a big deal. Salad pretty much goes with whatever. Something tells me they're going to go public. Something's going to go crazy. Something that's just not going to be the right decision. And then they're going to send memories 48 hours in the past to prevent them from going public. That's going to be part of my theory of what's going on here. But this is such an interesting development. Let's see. Hold on. Now what? You are making a salad. That's right. Yeah. Grapefruit salad, to be precise. Ew. Then why in the name of all it's holy am I looking at ground beef? Come on, don't you like to mix it up a little bit? Grapefruit's like the equivalent of black anyways. It goes with everything. Excuse me? Have no. you eaten one? Oh, and since when did you become such a connoisseur? Wow. Well, they have these things called prepared salads designed to save a busy woman like you the no trouble. No thanks. Those are basically boxes of foliage. You've seriously got to loosen up and learn I'd how to rather... make fun sometime, I swear. Sorry, but you're Cilantro. too disgusting. Perfection. It's me. Cilantro. It appears the sleeper agent is going in for a checkmate. Back up wow. The to keep her out wow. Of the kitchen. <laughs> Good lord, you're hilarious. I can't believe you're joking around. I gotta say, I didn't think you'd be taking this all so well. I'm kind of surprised. I thought you'd be climbing the walls to leap through time once we figured out the mechanics. That bother you? It is what it is. 
Ah, that's a Dr. Pepper. Cute. Are they really? Ever read any Martin Heidegger? Or try to? Can't say I'm familiar with that name. He thought that humans were temporal. Hmm. Interesting. So you know, I'm glad we're turning this thing over to someone else. Really. I mean, I think all of us are, but me in particular. Is it okay if we invite Ruka and Ferris to the party? Because we kind of already did. When did this become a party? This sounds weird, but I get the impression Mayuri's more relieved yep. than all of us. Yeah, especially after what you... Think out of the group, she had the vision, dream, focus on the big whatever. picture. We couldn't see the forest for the trees. She's wiser than all of you. We've talked about this. When do we this. go public? The sooner the better, as far as I'm concerned. Just give me a heads up. I want to let my mom know. Oh, hell. Dad's going to find out I made a time machine. I don't even want to imagine the kind of temper tantrum he's going to I know, pitch. right? That's going to be, be a insane. It'll probably be a big deal that we'll have to put Almarie on the back burner for a while, at least. I wouldn't worry too much. As a lab member, you are entitled to my protection in times of impending crisis. Aw, that's cute. God, why I'm are you sure so good? Provided I submit to your evil will, right? <laughs> Provided that you keep in contact. Uh, oh! Uh, Jesus I, Okabe! This is really I'm Okabe. Sure. He's been really... Oh, oh he's blushing! Uh, he She's didn't... blushed a bunch, but he's blushing about their... Oh my god! Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, Al, what are you doing? You're so out of character all of a sudden, I'm forced to conclude you've been stricken with some kind of fever. Oh, that's so cute. I, it's not like I was serious or anything. Oh I was just god. trying to avoid an awkward situation by being courteous. Liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> what is your problem? How the hell do you expect a girl to act when you keep flying off the handle and then you babble about keeping in touch like you care? Stop throwing me curveballs. <laughs> I'm sorry, which one of us is supposed to be flying off the handle? This is Don't so make cute. this more complicated than it is already. This is You're one my of assistant. My best ever. Yeah, well, there aren't any words for what you are. Really? Because you just hurled a slew of them at me. Wow. You know what? I thought of one. Impossible. That's true. But worth the effort, hey, nonetheless. On. Thanks for waiting on us. That's a lot of pizza. Have the manners of a baboon. What? It was getting cold. Thanks for the variety, too, I might add. There's like it's a plethora all. of good stuff here, dude. Moron! All these are smothered in olives, which you damn well know I hate. This is exactly why I'm making a salad fit for royalty. Give me a second, wow. I'll toss the bits together and we'll have proper knowledge. You let her buy produce? I tried to stop her, but she would not see reason. <laughs> damn it! Are you or are you she not pledged to best. protect our lives? I know, Who's right? You are. Friend? We're not done for just yet. Bear in mind that apple pie fiasco may well have been an accident. The rare wow. mistake of mom. I forgot to buy radishes. Oh well, shallots will do. Okay, shallots. if I survive this meal, oh, I'm no. going to write a letter of apology to everyone I've ever wronged. We're saved. <laughs> Mayuri, darling, could you scuttle into the kitchen? That... Hey, what's up, party people? You too. Wowza, something in here smells almost oh, edible. Did you guys order some pizza? Because I got chicken tenders, too. Oh, the tension between those two. It never ceases to amaze. Oh, I thought you knew better than music. to have her around. I happen to be a member of this lab. Mind telling us what you're doing here? I'm a lab member too. What's happening? Not a clue. Yeah, Did something seriously. happen between the two of you or what? No. She just gets off leveling bizarre accusations at me, like when she tells people I'm a mole for Well, sir. hey, if the shoe fits, wear it. What gives you the right to say crap like that? You don't even know me. Keep talking. I know how this goes down. Huh? Trust me, lady. The things you're gonna do? <laughs> Let's oh, just God. say I'm more of an expert on what's behind that whole innocent girl act than you are. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm sorry. Could you maybe run that by me again without the crazy? Uh-oh. Um, are you guys gonna fight? Is no one gonna call her out on the fact that she's clearly talking one. like she's from the future? <laughs> It appears the only remedy for this awkward turn of events Seriously. is the intercession of yours truly. Zombie! I did not raise an insolent backbiter. You didn't raise me at all, freak. Wow. <clears throat> if you intend to don the Appalachian mad scientist, you must first subdue... I have no intention of wow. don't. Uh, what ridiculous timer. You can point your finger at me all you want, Okabe. If you ignore my warning, whatever happens is on you. I don't deny Jesus. that you warned me. Hey, slow down a sec. Don't tell me you actually believed her. No, it's a bit more complicated than that. You sure didn't put up an argument. Well, perhaps I... Perhaps you should have just let him catfight? If you'd like to jump in and help me contain this, you are more than welcome. Um, please stop fighting. Aww. I really hate it when people fight. Aww. Sweetie, uh, 
for the record, I'm not a big fan of it myself. I don't mean to be all weird. I just want you to like each other as much as I like you. Aww. Of course. What? Mayori, I love you so much. I can't even describe how much I love you, Mayori. You're, you're the best. Playing Rhinette again. <laughs> Weigh your options carefully. Is it a virus or a link? Only one way to know. But of course, therein lies your dilemma. The cost of knowing may be the forfeiture of dessert. <laughs> that is very like deep. Like I always say, when in doubt, come at the enemy with all you've got. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> like a rat in a trap. Three viruses and no help in sight. Not one to be ungracious and triumph, however. It Secret virus that they got from entering CERN, hacking CERN? Nah, that would be interesting though, because I just thought the virus link, I don't know, just something about the game. Dude, I'm so suspicious now. This show is ruining me. Again, this is not the first time a show has ruined me. I'm looking at you, Code Geass, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Quit defeat now and I'll concede the cherry. Poor gal's got no game face. You're being mean to her, Ocarine. <sighs> Law of the jungle, my dear. Hate not the player, hate the game. Hey guys, we're back. Um, uh, my, again, my camera just went fucking crazy, but I did not get interrupted. And I, I, I know that I actually, um, it was actually funny. My camera went crazy and then I got a call and yeah, I still got like, I got enough time. So no worries for the last little bit of this uh, reaction. So let's, I went back uh, a few moments, a few seconds or whatever. So let's continue with episode 12 of Steins Gate right now. Oh. Of the jungle, my dear. Hate not the player. Hate, hate the, the game. game. <laughs> yep. In case you were wondering, the cards nesting up there in the corner are all links. <gasps> He's not half as shrewd of player as he'd like everyone to believe. Take my word for it. <laughs> wow. Oh, good call. Damn you underlings are not supposed to rat wow. out their superiors. Wow. So nice move, Chief. Calling someone underling totally inspires loyalty. Yeah, well, I'm not thanking you. Oh, oh, here, let me give you damn. a hand. Oh, thanks, sweetie. Actually, if you wouldn't mind making some tea, that'd be great. Mm. Cool. You're a doll. You know, I really can't thank you enough. What for? Trying as hard as you are to get along with Suzuha for my sake, silly. Ah, uh, well, sad to say, I don't think it's done a whole lot of good. But what you said earlier about all of us liking each other. We spend so much time in this room together, it'd be a waste if we couldn't get along. That's true. Okabe and I had a little chat about you. About how while we're all fumbling in the dark, you always seem to know what's important. Huh? Wow. You know, Okabe never seems more himself than when the topic of conversation is you. Aww. It's kind of creepy to tell you the truth. Aww. <laughs> That's not a very nice thing to say, you know. Wow. Sorry, it's the you truth. Do I, call I was about to say everyone else is in the room. You accepted outside help. Your victory was a deus ex machina, ergo that cake. Wow. wow. I was going to give deus you a cherry. Deus ex machina. I will marshal my forces for round two, rest assured. <laughs> Savor that cherry, callow upstart. It may well be your last. Wow. What a silly sauce. Why don't you handle this one? I can manage the tea. Oh, this time it's my Yuri's turn to keep Okabe happy. Or whatever. It's like those two girls are taking turns at having deep conversations oh, with this. Okabe. Whoa, lightsaber. What on earth are you doing? Is that a lightsaber? It's dark. I couldn't find a flashlight. Uh, just be careful. That's future gadget numero six you're holding. Oh, no, it's not. Nostalgic value. Plus, huh. it's a lightsaber. Plus, it's nice and shiny. It looks like a lightsaber. It is a lightsaber with a little thing on the top. <laughs> Still a lightsaber, though. Very much Having stuck. fun? <laughs> oh, yeah. You bet I am. Hell, yeah. The pizza was super tasty. Suzuha and Kurisu are getting along. Yep. Peachy. Good old Makase Kurisu. Eventually, everyone submits to the redheads. We have a whole bunch of new lab members okay. now, you Urza, know. Pira. I've been thinking lately about some of the things we could oh, really use oh, over here. Oh, 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 fuck. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, oh, fuck. Yeah. oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Need, uh, oh, fuck. Well, new dishes, more chairs. <laughs> have patience, my dove. Give it a little time. Once we've gone public with our discoveries. Oh, man. Sorry about that. Um. Oh. Oh, the cramped city. The Cramp City. That's what I get for recording all fucking day, I guess. Holy shit. Oh. 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 I actually followed... 
the dialogue that was going on. I wasn't really looking or focusing on the screen, but my I, well, I did focus on the dialogue. I'm still going to go back 20 seconds anyways, or about 18 seconds it looks like, but oh dear god, that was painful, but at least that one didn't last long. Oh, I'll keep my pain in for you guys. Anyways, let's continue. We have a whole bunch of new lab members now, you know? Yes, we do. I've been thinking lately about some of the things we could really use around here. Is yep. that a fact? Oh, yeah. We need, uh, well, new dishes, more chairs. <laughs> Have yep. patience, my dove. Give it a little time. Once we've gone public with our discovery, somebody's bound to pay us handsomely. Then I'll set you loose in a department store. Wait, so you'll let me get more chairs? And new dishes, of course, which will just be the beginning. Think even uh bigger. Can we get a new microwave? I majorly miss not being able to heat up my chicken tenders. Aww. I hope I'll take it under advisement. Hmm. Aww. So sweet. It's funny how much things have changed. I mean, just a few months ago, you were always so sad, you know? Oh. The lab was quiet and lonely. Finally starting to get it was happy. pretty much just you and your computer. Then Daru came along. And Maki say too. Ruka came on board, then Suzuha, Moeka, yep. and Ferris. Even Mr. Braun that. and I are like family now. Yeah, pretty much. I suppose so. You're not the alone. The place is getting so crowded. It's kind of goofy for me to still be your hostage. Yeah. Huh. Hey, guys! Interesting. Come back in. Something's going on with the trains. Trains. Developments on the metro. A terrorist bomb threat called into local authorities just moments ago has shut down every line. Repeat, every line traveling to or away from the. This terrorist train. crap is so. Ugh, right I mean, now. come on. Jeez, I better check in at home. I wonder what this has to do with this stuff. This foray was supposed to be about celebrating your time machine, wasn't it? Yeah, sort of. Kind of funny you would ask about that now. How deep have you guys hacked into CERN? Well, we're pretty much done digging. Hit the mother load a while back. What are you talking about? I'm talking about being directly connected. <laughs> There's no time left. It's too late. Is that what you want to say? I've got to get home. Huh? Yeah, Susan? something's wrong. All righty then. That was subtle. Are you guys gonna figure it out yet? Hourglass. What the hell is going on? What? Oh no, I just wound you. Don't tell me you're broken. So not fair. I've taken extra good care of you and everything. What? Wait, what? What the hell? <sighs> Sir. Don't move. Let's see those hands in the air. What the fuck? Is it the same girl? Oh! Shining finger? Was CERN, eh? You? Oh, fuck. You? Your time machine is now the property of Sir. Fuck! Hold on. You can't just store. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Makisei Kurisu. Okabe Rintaro. Hashida Itaru. You'll be coming with us. <laughs> Mayuri. I'm sorry. They're gonna kill her. Oh, God. The little one isn't needed. What the fuck? 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 I'm begging you. For FP. Jesus Christ! Well, thank 
God, this is a time travel show. What the fuck? What the hell? Oh, God. My Yuri. Yeah, she's Please, not... No. That was a bit much for her, wasn't it? Oh. Oh. What is this? Whoa! 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 What the hell is this? Why the fuck did I let myself go two more episodes? What the fuck? Okay. I kind of think she's gonna come back because different world lines. Oh my god, CERN got him! <sighs> Lucy! Oh, uh, Suzuha, come on, Suzuha, come on, Suzuha, you gotta be clutch, you gotta have something up your sleeve, Suzuha, this is, this is it, this is game day, fucking Suzuha, we need her to show up, like, we got no place, we're fucked, we are fucked in the ass, we are royally fucked, CERN fucking got us, unless Suzuha has, Suzuha has something, needs to do something, and she knew, she knew that once, once they got all the way, that shit was going down. That fuck shit was happening. Oh my god. This show. This fucking show. Oh my god. Fucking not my Yuri! Like, I, I'd almost rather say just kill Okabe or Makase. Like, anyone but my Yuri! She's so. She just. No! Also, that makes me even more curious about what was going on at the beginning of episode 12. The whole thing with the sequence with my with Okabe, with Mayuri's voice, and Mayuri talking all to Okabe all about that and being 70 million years in the past. I don't know what the fuck was going on with that. Holy shit, are they going to use... Like, that almost makes me think like they're going to use those four as like full body test subject or whatever. But they figured out how to use to send memories to the past, which is enough. And they maybe they did that with uh, with Shining Finger. And, and that's part of how Shining Finger is being a CERN operative. So Shining Finger was the mole, which is really interesting. Or not, it wasn't originally necessarily the mole, but she was, you know, trying to do all this stuff for CERN or whatever. I don't know what the deal is, but Shining Fingers with CERN, which is pretty insane. And oh my god, this is fucking nuts. This show is crazy. Another interesting thing is CERN saw Mayuri to be, to not be important. So they killed Mayuri, but they needed Daru, Okabe, and Makase. We knew they needed Makase. We knew that. We knew they were using Makase. I think that was obvious. But they do also need Daru and Okabe. So those three are relevant to these plans. I've talked about there's so much shit that happened in this set that I think is relevant. Like I said, I, I, I've predicted and I, can, I still believe I'm actually going with this that um, Suzuma's father, Suzuha's father is Daru, which is insane, obviously, but I'm actually sticking with that. I actually legitimately believe that. Then you got the whole freaking situation with Okabe and just all the shit going on with him, and then they fucking kill Mayori. There's so much shit going on. Um, I don't even know. I don't even know where we could possibly go from here. Like, we... We, we are officially, unofficially halfway through the show because the show has 24 episodes, but really 25 because, like, from my understanding, like, technically the OVA is, like, really episode 25. Everyone considers it episode 25, whatever. I'm just going to watch it right after episode 24, like, in the same video or whatever. We'll, we'll get to that when we get there, which might be sooner rather than later at the rate that I'm probably going to consume Steins Gate, given that I, I was supposed to record 7 to 10, and I just did 7 to 12 like a fucking madman because Steins Gate is fucking incredible and i love this show so much oh my god stein's fucking gate is insane this is crazy this show is so good oh my god i love it oh my god there's so much to say there's so much that was going on in this i don't even know where to begin i don't know what to say this was 
This was absolutely mental, and I loved every second of it. Holy shit. Steins Gate, man, I don't know what to say. Steins Gate is... It's just the best. It is this show is blowing my brain. It's blowing my mind. It's blowing my heart. It's blowing my soul. And I'm just obsessed. I am obsessed with the series. And we're only halfway done. And I'm scared because we are only 12 episodes in. I can't believe this show's been this good in such a short period of time. And uh, yeah, hopefully, I do want to make real quick just make sure that we do, in fact, that I do, in fact, uh, Okay, it looks like we're good, yeah. Okay, so, um, oh my god, that was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. Holy shit. Um, oh, so good. So, so good. I do want to, yeah, make sure. Okay, yeah, that's, yep. And then you, and just, just making sure that all my, everything recorded properly. Okay, it looks like we're good. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's everything. Okay, we're good. We got everything recorded properly. Like, that's how fucking insane this is. I'm like, I'm like fucking paranoid that I lost some of the footage and would have to go fucking crazy with editing or something because like that was so crazy and so good that I want to make sure everything in the video is perfect because oh my god. Stein's Gate. Stein's fucking gate. Oh my god. To everyone who wanted me to watch this series, which I know a lot of people did want me to watch Stein's Gate, um, bless you, because this show is what I live for. You guys, for those of you who have seen my reactions, again, to shows like Code Geass and Neon Genesis Evangelion, I live for shows like Code Geass, like Evangelion, and like Stein's Gate. These are... Um, and like, again, Stein's Gate is quickly rising the ranks of my favorite shows of all time. I think at worst it's at four. Uh, at worst it's probably already at four. That, that's, I, I know that sounds insane, but it's probably at four right now. And I think it'll be higher than four by the end. I'm just saying, like, what the fuck? This show is incredible. Um, I don't think it's surpassed Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood yet for me. Um... But like, I, I, I like Ava, Code Geass, Full Metal, Steins Gate. Like that's kind of where I'm at right now. I, I honestly believe that. Like I think for me, it's past like so many things. And you guys know all the great stuff I've watched. And oh my God, Steins Gate. This might actually end up being my favorite show of all time by the end. That. It's it's insane. It's absolutely insane. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I do know what's going on. Like, I'm following it, but I'm not following it. I don't even know. Like, I am following it, but there's, like, so much mystery and intrigue that I'm, like, trying to theorize everything, and I'm probably going to be wrong with most of it, but I might get a few things right, hopefully. And just, like, oh, it's so much. So, so much. Anyways, Flame and Shark sign out. Hope you guys have a wonderful fantastical day and I hope you guys enjoy the ever living shit out of this video because I'm fucking shook and I am not ready for more but god damn am I gonna watch more hopefully not too long from now probably sometime next week I mean obviously next week because it'll be next video peace flame and shark sign out hope you guys have a wonderful fantastical day and I will see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.